I did not do any of the stuff I said I was gonna do. That's not true. I did some of it, just not enough. And also, I did not hear the game at all. Add up a little bit. There we go. Should be fine for y'all. I don't think I I think anything changed the, the regular settings. Because I had my headset turned down. Let's listen to some music earlier. Had to crank shit down. But yeah, just got distracted, just slept slept too long. Uh, spent um, a good part of the afternoon catching up on uh, Demon Slayer, whatever. So I just kind of slept my mind. I did do some stuff. I got some new carnages. I went back to the Bloom Palace. We, we now have the option to do the, uh, the plus one thing with weapons I was talking about. Like I said, that's unlocked straight away on New Game Plus for whatever reason. But here, I guess the cutoff was chapter, uh, chapter four, I guess. And this is not where I meant to go. This is happy music. Bad stuff is not happening here, clearly. Besides, you know, Purple Man. But, yeah. All I, all I did, <laughs> I did do some stuff. I had a little bit of time. I uh, got a couple of new carnages, and I got a couple of those, uh, those new rare items. Not nearly enough, so for a while, I'm just gonna kind of, uh, keep running back and forth to that area where you can get those. Battling, battling, uh, regular shadows or savage enemies or stuff once in a while, just to also try and keep up levels. Since, uh, part, part of the, one of the things I was supposed to do was get, uh, Get Ellie and uh, Memory stage rank up. Hello, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, and that's I, right now. Right now, I'm saying screw it to levels. Essentially, what I'm gonna do at some point again when I actually have time, <laughs> when I actually do it next time, or maybe even on stream. Maybe this will be the episode where you actually accomplish nothing. But um, I'm not worried about keeping their actual levels. Even I kind of just want to focus on getting their stage ranks up because um. What I'm gonna do at some point, probably, is just go into that DLC dungeon, or what used to be a DLC dungeon. And, uh, get everyone's levels evened up that way. I can't believe it's not Persona! Ah, God! Uh, see, I actually would've liked to have fought that savage enemy. I kinda got them down to an exact science. Because they kept, uh, with a method I'm gonna show off, they kept, uh... Ambushing me instead of the, uh, the treasure demons. Not, not treasure demons, but you know. Essentially treasure demons. The UFOs. Or UFOs, as I call them. Yeah, there were actually quite a new, uh, uh, quite a few other new enemies in the same. I haven't progressed in the dungeon at all. There are actually quite a few new enemies still that I just missed out on encountering at all, apparently. Because uh, I ended up getting collecting quite a few new performance and everything. Still losing your soul to free house, can't wait to lose the rest of it to TMS. Hey! Good. This game deserves your soul. Free houses does as well. These are both some damn fine Vinci games. I, st I started to mess around with the plus one weapons, or at least some of them. I think Subasa is back on one now, but um, I, I was gonna start messing around with them just to get some extra some session skills because there are still new ones on some of those plus one weapons if you go back and get them. Unfortunately, um, we since our uh, our skill slots aren't expanded, that includes the session ones. Don't exactly have the room to be picking up extra ones right now. So I kind of uh, reneged on that. But I started to level one up. Okay, she's still finishing up a new, uh, an actual new one right now, but yeah, I got a, uh, a plus one one for Tsubasa already that has Zondine on it, which will be incredibly useful. Like, do you want Zondine? Yeah. Yeah, I want that shit. But yeah, ex 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 excuse this, uh, the start of this, this one especially for being uh, probably a lot more, uh, a lot more, not a lot more. Even more scattershot than usual. Because I am a dumbbutt who accomplished nothing of the things I was supposed to. What are you doing right now? Exactly. <laughs> like I said, I did not do accomplish the amount of off-screen grinding that I wanted to. I started to. I started kind of late the day. Like I said, I was busy uh, finally forcing myself to catch up on Demon Slayer. 
But um, essentially what we're doing is, right now is I'm grinding slash farming for the, the rare UFO items. Which you can do by basically doing exactly what I'm doing. Well, exactly what I just did. Going to this treasure room. Putting up Estoma. And Rebrema. Rebrama. Thanks, Obama. And uh, just for good measure, Sloma can also help just to slow him down a little bit. What that is essentially going to do, it's going to force nothing but rare shadows and savage shadows to appear. Once you do that, you want to go to this little corner that I just walked up to. I kind of, I'm doing this out of order. Typically, you want to do this before you go up the ladder. And, yeah, nine times out of ten, it will be a gold man. And then you can just tap out of the room. I, I, I forget exactly what it takes to reset it. You may just have to tap out of the room. You may have to tap out of the dungeon completely, but they, they, I, whatever the case, they will reset continually. Is Steven say even that great? The H of Japan instead of kind of turn you away, away from it. It's not that great. <laughs> when I say I had to force myself to, uh, I, I'm forcing myself to watch it. It's because I, I mean what I say. Like, um, that that's a show that was all over my uh, my Twitter dashboard for a uh, for a good couple of months there. And that when it, so and so when it finally came to adult so I'm like oh yeah sure I'll watch that, but um it's it's okay I cannot stress this enough because like it clearly it clearly means a lot to people people because people are going on about it so much it's not a bad show by any stretch of the imagination, but like people were going batshit for it like the the kind of uh, the kind of enthusiasm and just ridiculous amount of enthusiasm, which is not a bad thing. Again, you like what you like. I'm glad people had fun with it, and, uh... <laughs> and I, I also fucked up here by not... I didn't... I never looked up at a better method to, uh, to attack these things. I know there had to have been a better way, but, um... But, uh, I'm getting fucked over pretty good, and this thing's probably gonna run away. But, um, it, it's not a bad show, but, like, I was expecting something something special, I'll, I'll say. Which I probably shouldn't have, because, you know, it's the internet. Don't let, you, don't let them get your hopes up. But it is okay. I did finally meet, um, I finally met the, uh, the guy with the boar mask. Who, uh, they, they haven't revealed his name yet in, sh in show, but, um, I, I think it's Inosuke, which, I mean, makes sense, because boar, boar mask. Uh, he, he's a lot of fun. <laughs> don't know too much about him yet, but, uh, I can, I can appreciate a good ham. Probably only got popular because of the gag, uh, gag girl being the seasonal waifu. Yeah, and I mean she's fine. Like Nezuko, her whole thing is, like that's the big thing. It, like it has a lot of really good tragic setups that make me interested in, um, in like the character aspect of it. But like it doesn't really give itself time to properly deal with it. Like I, it almost feels rushed in a weird way. I'd be curious to know how the manga was paced. Cause like um. Like, the, the first episode of that, and I'm not gonna, apologies to anyone who considers this a spoiler, but again, it's li literally the first episode of the show. That show starts with the main character's family being fucking massacred. The only one who survives is the sister, and she becomes a demon, and that's wife and girl. That everyone was going nuts over. But, like, it, it just, it doesn't have any time to settle. It's like the, the fact that the rest of the family was murdered is basically immediately surplanted by the issue of trying to, you know, deal with the sister being a demon now and not just have her immediately put down by the demon slayers. Because there's a little bit of HP after combat. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think you would like that. Main character has a dead family. What a subversion! <laughs> I'm not going to be that mean. I'm not going to shit on it for being tropey or anything. Tropes are not bad. But yeah, it's just like, like there's a lot of, frankly, I found, I think the big, my biggest issue is probably the mood whiplash because of stuff like that. Like I said, you have this, uh, this very tragic start to the story that doesn't really get any time to settle. And also because it's over the course of one episode, you didn't really even feel particularly invested in the fact that it happened even. And then it's inter and then a lot of the sad stuff going on is intercut with generic dumb anime hijinks. Like the other new character who I just met in the new batch in the batch of episodes I caught up on, the other other main character, as far as I know, he's gonna keep being important. But he's a um, it's just it's this it's the blonde kid. I don't even I don't even know his fucking name. They said it in the episode. I like the more kid, but I I 
I, ju I did not listen because I stopped hearing the second he was introduced. <laughs> like, um... He's- it's one of the most- again, I'm, I'm not gonna shit on the show for being tropey, but holy shit, he is one of the most stock, like, whiny yet secretly badass characters I've seen in a long time, and I'm already finding myself hating his guts. <laughs> And then the twist is like, oh, he's a, he's a pussy, but he's badass when he's asleep, and he fights in his sleep, and he's cool then. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so this character is only tolerable when he's asleep. And I'm sure that's going to change character development and everything, but, um, but good fucking God. Like, the fact that he, the fact that the boar kid was introduced almost immediately after him, and, uh, he very quickly earned brown brownie points just by going full ham. Shout out to Bryce Pappenbrook. Seems to be a popular opinion from what you've seen. Yeah, I don't know anything about. I, I never saw anything of him. Like everything I saw from that show, I talked about how how popular it was. How I kept seeing it. All the stuff I was seeing of it was uh, the boar guy and the girl, and a little bit of the main character. Not much, but a little. So the fact that this blonde kid is apparently the fourth main character, and yet I ain't seen. Uh, aha! Oh God! <laughs> you see that shit? Ooh, okay. All right. So that's how you want to play. Uh, very well. Ooh, that was rough. But yeah, the, the fact that I haven't seen much of him while I'd seen quite a bit of uh, other characters, I was like, oh, you're bad, aren't you? And then sure enough, the second he started talking, I was like, oh, you're bad. He doesn't feel like a character from, from a modern anime. He feels like a lost relic. Fucking, like I don't know, Miroku from Inuyasha or something. And that's not to say I have an issue with perverted characters. I actually like perverted characters more often than not. I'm a harem anime fan. I think it, I think they're fun most of the time. But, uh, this kid. Not a fan. The Lost Relic in Old Japan sounds appropriate. Yeah, hey, who knows? Maybe that's, maybe that's the intent. Like I said, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not- I don't hate it. I just, it, it's, it's the Attack on Titan effect. It was the same thing I had there. Because Attack on Titan was this humongous thing that blew up. That had normal people suddenly being anime fans again. Something I had not seen since, like, the days of Full Metal Alchemist. So I was like, okay, what's this about? And for, and for the record, I couldn't get past fucking two episodes of, of Attack on Titan. So clearly this show's doing something right. I'm at least I'm invested enough to at least stick with it and keep giving it a chance. And I'm glad I did, because like I say, I, I've met the I've met the boar kid now. I knew from consensus seems to agree that he's one of the best parts of the show. I already agree. Oh yeah. I will say I wish they had found a uh, a better way to deal with um, the quick session thing. Like, I'm, I'm glad it's an option. It should it absolutely needed to be an option. But, um... But the fact that it kind of just shows up under the session meter and takes off even more of the screen and obscures a lot of the action... Don't worry, Kiri. I'll bring you back. I just gotta trim their numbers a little. Ow! God! Mistakes were made! Oh, he's fine. I also forgot to buy new revival items, so that'll be fun. I didn't do any new request or side quest or whatever off screen. Oh, Ellie, I love you. Good girl. A good Alice. Do we even have any more? Not regular ones, actually. Rut row. Alright, okay, you're sitting this one out. Rip. 
Yeah, that's my hot take for today. Attack on Titan is, just hot, is hot garbage. It is actual trash, and I am uh, I'm glad I'm not to continue to stick with it or even give it a chance or even hammer it. It's all subsequent things I have seen. I've been just saying and say, yeah, so I hate to, I hate to trap one out of here now that I know that you don't actually need to get out of the entire dungeon. But I gotta buy some more revival items. You really didn't even watch it? Yeah. How did Toma join in? Oh, were you not? Okay, yeah. Um, if you, in case you weren't here, Phoenix. Yeah, what it is is every character has access to a, uh, a special radiant skill called Open Audition. Some of them get it sooner than others. I think Subas and Toma were like the first ones to get it. It basically allows them to, uh, to jump in even if they're not in the main cast and get sessions off. I think I have it for pretty much everyone now, except for, uh, for Mamori. But, yeah, it's there. You have such bad buffering, I'm sorry. <laughs> One second, let me make sure that's nothing on my end. Just to make sure I don't even have my dashboard open again. I guess there were more, sc more scatter shot than usual. Not... Oh god, I also didn't mute my, uh, my thing. There we go. Uh... Not that it matters. I don't think. I think I have my uh, computer audio muted. Y'all can't hear that. There we go. Yeah, my bit. Uh, my uh, quality seems seems fine. Sorry, Phoenix. All I can do is recommend you uh, lower your quality. Where seems like there are already regulars here. Yet only two of us are talking. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. I mean, according to. According to my viewer count, there, we only have one person watching, and yet there are two people talking, so I don't know what's up. Sometimes the numbers on these things seem weird. But whatever. I did advertise the fact that this was going to be, uh, this was probably going to be a shit show. Since I didn't do any of the stuff I said I was going to do. says Janana and Akira are here too. Does it? Where does it say who's here? I don't even have that information. But, hey. If people are here and just don't feel like talking, that's fine. Like I said, I tend to lurk more often than not to whenever I'm doing, uh, doing stuff. Yeah, see, hey, Janana. Yeah, sometimes people just don't have nothing to say. Sometimes I, sometimes I go quiet for long stretches of time. Uh, that reminds me, I meant to make the uh, the text a little bit a little bit bigger on the uh, the chat widget. It's a little tiny. It's legible. Like, if you're watching it full screen, you can pretty much make it out, but... Yeah. It's like, as someone who is currently wearing glasses, I feel like I should make it a little easy for, easier for people. Take them into account. Oh, the treasure room actually... I thought... Okay, the treasure room can appear in a different spot. I thought it was fixed to that one side. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, top, top right instead of top left this time. It says the stream has 2,083 views. <laughs> I fucking wish. No, I, I believe that's the uh, that's the all that's the grand total. That's the total number of views I have ever had. Period across everything. It's not it's not indicative of uh, what's happening right now. Unfortunately, we're still a ways off from that. More fortunately, I mean there are there are obviously good uh, good points for still being small, or uh, relatively small. I mean, I would, for me, I, I'm very small, but um, you know, like I, I my, what I'm saying is I want I want to get I want us to get a little bigger. I'd like to get big enough to at least get partnered on Twitch one day. But obviously, like the whole reason a lot of people go to seek out smaller streamers is because they get sick of uh. 
these monster uh, monstrous ones that have like thousands of viewers at any given time, and it's just impossible to get a word in edgewise in chat. Ah, God! Oh, I got a spirit. Uh, here we go. I don't plan on getting any more, in any more fights before the treasure demon, but... Probably got sick of Twitch chat in general. Yeah, Twitch chat can be kind of AIDS sometimes. I, um... Because I, because I stopped relatively early last night, I managed to catch the, uh, majority of, uh, Japan time live. The big, uh, the big Smash podcast that, uh, done by, like, Roger's Base and Shofu and a bunch of other people. Yeah, I was actually able to catch that live for the first time in quite a while. Granted, they don't do it too often anymore, so it's not really, uh... It's not even a matter of catching it live, it's a matter of them actually doing it and being able to catch it live. But, um... But, yeah, so I was, uh... I didn't, I didn't participate in chat at all, but I, like, I, wa I watched chat since it was live. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, My guys are cooler. <laughs> These guys are dumb. Only so much kappa and total biscuits that people can take, good god. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dead end. You're making cheeseburger macaroni? Nice. Excellent. Mm. I'm guessing there's gonna be a way we can go up back here. Yeah, like I said, I thought that treasure room was fixed to being on the top right. It happened so much. That's pretty consistently where I was getting it! Okay, I'm gonna fight you, sir. I'm gonna fight you. So, one second, let me actually get the, the cast I'd rather use. Eh. Eh. Be completely honest, you don't jump on any bandwagons when it comes to YouTubers or Twitch streamers, you just watch who you like. Being honest, you think Markiplier and all of them are overrated, but that's just your opinion. You like my channel, enjoy the live streams. Thank you, Phoenix. Um, I'm glad to hear it. I appreciate the kind the kind words. Yeah, I don't I, I don't put too much stake in uh in popularity. Then you just gotta take a chance and watch who you want to watch people who look interesting. Yes. God damn it. Ouchie, ouch. Do you fill the bum with noodles? No, I don't think that's quite how it works. I mean, it could be, but I don't think so. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's like hamburger helper, right? Like it's just hamburger chopped up in macaroni. Yeah, it can be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, bodyguard. The bun with noodles. <laughs> yeah, I could also try that. Like, why not? YOLO! Oh, of course you're the, of course you're the one doing it. I don't know how these guys managed to coordinate their moves. Oh, yeah. Okay, there, there's the one bad thing about Maomori uh, jumping in for attacks. And she'll end up killing herself sometimes. But I think. 
It's okay. We got, we get, get, pour some, put some. Game. I said, put some curry on that child! Alright, Kitsuki, we can. Oh, yeah. We got this. But yeah, keep in mind this is a group of savage enemies. Like it makes us they're a little overpowered, but also come on. And they give a shit ton of experience, so yeah, like so as long as I've got them down to an exact science on how to deal with them for the most part, and they keep showing up, I've been I've been dealing with them. Good way to get leveled up. How did your stage rank go up? You're not even fighting! I need memories! I need more memories! Resist ice? Huh. You have depression, Janae? I think a lot I think a lot of us in chat do. A lot of regulars. We're here if you need it, if you feel like talking about it. If not, equally understandable. Just know that people are here for you, people like you. Howdy the best. We're doing alright. Um I don't think he's weak to ice normally is the thing. Hmm. Did Krom evolve? Yeah, yeah. This is Krom's edgy phase. Croming in my skin and all that. Uh, <laughs> we got a Master Seal. Master Seals are a thing that exists in this game like regular Fire Emblem. Yeah, he's weak to ice now, but okay, they're, they're, if I did explain this, I, I probably didn't explain this. Their car, their weaknesses and resistances can change depending on what carnage they have. He's weak to ice right now, but I don't think he normally is, actually. I think it's just fire. So I don't know how worth it it is to keep this. I don't think it is. It, it would be if I was planning on keeping that carnage for the rest of the game, but no, nah, there are better ones. Yeah, it's a lowland crom. Watchfulness. Oh, no, no, no. Don't even need to look. Get rid of the boosts. Boosts are not that useful. Or Galar form. Galar form would make a little more sense. And I'm still just trying to figure out how to get to the treasure room now that it's on the right hand side. I, uh, I, I did not see that once in all the times I did this off screen. Which was not much. Like I said, that's part of the issue is that I didn't do, uh, didn't do enough things off screen. But. <laughs> it would be fun to watch the fall of 76 on the stream if that's something people want to see like I'm done I'm certainly curious enough about the history and what went wrong there that I'd like to watch it if people want to watch me watch it for whatever reason then yeah you can do that they start useful later on in the game, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're nice early on when your stats are pretty low and you don't have many other options for, like, uh, useful passive skills. But once you get to, once you get to this point, you're getting, uh, you're getting stuff that's much more useful. No sense of holding on to them. Bethesda, Sonic 06 is a better choice. <laughs> Keep in mind we're watching it, we're talking about a documentary on the game, not the game itself. I don't think anyone's interested in seeing me actually play the game. <laughs> but watching a video essay on why it's bad, I think that might be safe. Shit. <laughs> Bethesda holds the like competitions after making a game, do they? <laughs> Who's busting out the twin blades? That is Maiko, our drunk ass manager. <laughs> She's, uh, they promoted her to a semi playable party member in this. You can't actually play as her, but once you get to a certain point and get a uh, special chest in that new dungeon. 
she will start jumping into sessions along with uh, Tiki there. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, fuck actually playing Fallout 70, because like I said, I don't think anyone was interested in actually watching me play that game. But watching a document, I don't know. I always feel I always feel weird, feel weird watching stuff on stream and especially uploading it to YouTube later. I don't know how liable that is. Spear and competitions for the employees. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that seems fun. For every, everyone, everyone's all in on Doom Guy and Smash. But keep in mind, that means Bethesda getting money to make more Fallout 76s. Do you really want that? Why is everyone except the characters I actually want getting stage ranks? And also, what the hell, they are done. I thought they... weren't they still not before? Well, whatever. Okay, but yeah, as you can, like, like I said, I was explaining, I've got uh, this one that's a plus one, and this one has Inferno Strike, which is the upgraded Flame Strike, so I'm going to put him on that for now. For her, I've got her. This is actually her treasure weapon. This is what I got from the uh, the UFO uh, the UFO item. This is the only one I can make with the material from the UFO item. I guess the others use other material that I haven't encountered yet. But yeah, she's got that. Should be pretty good. We're watching documentaries. You still recommend a Sonic 6 one? Good to know as you're gonna play TMS. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've I've been trying to give helpful tips. Like if if you can't do a completely blind playthrough of the game of a game. Then I feel like the next best, best thing is to do an informative one. You should either play games you know nothing about or games you know a lot about. So that is the advice I've always tended to give. Yeah, it's. I think it's straight up just like the same location, just mirrored. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the, the small fry. Like I said, the, the main goal here is uh, still just farming the items. I know it might not seem that way because I'm doing a bunch of other shit, but um, I mainly just want to make sure to get one of each of the, uh, the UFO items. But I also just happen to keep running into savage enemies, and they're a really good experience. And some of us are underleveled, so we're going to fight them. Can we do Sonic 06 sometime? I technically have Sonic 06. Like that, uh... <laughs> I've only played Sonic 06 a little bit myself. I played a little bit of fucking... Well, it was a pretty, pretty early level. But, um... Yeah, I technically have it. It's not mine. I did not spend money on it. Ivy spent money on it. Because <laughs> she's an even bigger masochist than I am. <laughs> and she fucking left it at my house. And every time she came over for a while, I was like, Hey, Ivy, you, you should take Sonic 06 back. That's your game. She's like, No, 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 you keep it. And I'm like, I don't, don't want to keep it. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit like, I think I think Sonic 06 needs to be a full video ranger playthrough. I don't think it'd be any fun with just me. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much more I need to know about Sonic 06. I've, I watched the Game Grumps playthrough. And then found another playthrough to watch the actual game. Oh, okay. The better for Video Ranger, yeah. Who knows, maybe each one of us could do one of the campaigns. Like someone could do silver, someone could do shadow, and someone could be uh could do Sonic. And just break them up. That's how we're gonna that's how we talked about splitting up uh, Kingdom Hearts birth by Seep when we ever if we ever get around to that. Is we're each gonna do one campaign. Ian's gonna do Terra, Ivy's gonna do Ven, and I'm gonna do Aqua. Oh, Ellie, very nice. Ah! Ugu! When is Princess Elise getting to smash? <laughs> Give it time. Next pass when we get nothing but Sega reps. It's gonna be Kiryu, Arl Naja, Knights, 
and Elise. You would think they'll. You would think if they're gonna add a second Sonic character, they'd add Tails or promote Knuckles or Shadow, but no. Princess Elise. You'll get Princess Elise, and you'll fucking like it. Just noticed Ellis wearing the maid outfit. <laughs> I like to think of it less as a maid outfit and more as her completing her Alice in Wonderland cosplay. Because we were calling her Alice before she even started dressing like that. So now she's just completely a bitch. Yeah, well, once again, these are savage enemies. But, like, as you can see, we're kind of making short work of them. And there's still a couple higher levels than us. Or a couple levels higher than us. It's been years since you still know what the plot of Sonic 06 is supposed to be. Um, don't cry out loud. Just keep it inside. Learn how to hide your feelings. Hey, yay, yeah, 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 yay, yeah. yay. I said, hey, what's going on? That's the plot. I'm not even joking, that's actually the moral of the game, is don't cry, ever, you're not allowed. There's a stage wing, thank you. Isn't there a plot point in 06 where it basically asks who you ship Sonic with? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the game, uh, the game asks you who Sonic, who, who you as Sonic love more, Amy or Elise. Oh, very nice. And you can choose Amy, and there's no consequences. You can choose whichever one you want. We got a new side story for her again already, and we haven't even done her first one. I'll do her first one for the record once we get to a, uh, another good stopping point, like preferably like the, the second teleporter or something in here. But yeah, you can uh, you can pick Amy, but the uh, the ending sequence of that game will be the same no matter which one you pick, and it'll kind of force Elise on you. It's nothing concrete, nothing official, nothing huge. It's just you just, just gotta make out with her a little bit. What's that? You don't want to make out with this gross human woman with butter legs as an anthropomorphic hedgehog? You don't want to do that? Too bad! You gotta do that shit. Okay, I'm not gonna like it. And actually, the layout of it on this side is different, isn't it? In which case, I have wasted a huge amount of time going this way, because I guess the treasure demons will have the, uh, the guaranteed chance. He's, he's fun in love, and they never put Sonic with realistic humans again. <laughs> did they? Did they do it again? I didn't think they did it again after Sonic 06. I thought they, they knew better. Real talk, like I said, we're going to see that Sonic the Hedgehog movie. If I see someone in a fursuit at that, uh, at that screening. I might end it all. <laughs> I'm bringing my big Makashi, it's fine. I'd be, I'd be a little, I'd be a little freaked out if anyone actually went that far. Especially in South Carolina of all goddamn places, but... Whatever. Let people have fun. If we let Trekkies get away with it, who cares? We never thought Sonic fit with his love interest like Amy or Sally. Love interest in general, yeah, no. I think Sonic's too conceited to be in love. I think he needs to learn to love himself before he can love anyone. Be it gross ogre women, or um, or uh, other hedgehogs, like Amy or Sally. What 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 what, what, what the fuck was Sally? A squirrel? I think he was a squirrel. What the fuck is Mututi? Cure seal? That's actually potentially useful, but nah, no, nah, we got items for that. I'm good. I'm good, fam. It doesn't really matter, because we all know Sonic's one true love is Knuckles. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. Plus, 
looks amiably seem more like a sister to you. She was supposed to be originally. Like, in her first appearance, she was written to be much younger than Sonic, right? I believe, anyway. Speaking of Amy... <laughs> big, big brain time. Are you going to talk about the fact that right now there's a huge fad going on of uh, Amy swapping personalities with, uh, with Rouge? Because <laughs> if so, I'm ahead of you. There was some yeah. dude on Twitter... Oh, okay, never mind. There was some dude on Twitter complaining about Amy porn. I mean, it's the internet. I don't know what he was expecting. So yeah, that, that room layout is different if it shows up at a different angle, so you, it has to be on the top right, I guess. So hopefully it resets there. Oh no, I actually I picked the right room on Okay, there we go. That's the one I wanted. Yeah, we, uh, yeah we, we should clarify. <laughs> he was complaining about Amy porn. The the lack thereof or the abundance of? Because I gotta tell you, based on my very limited experience with the Sonic fandom, I think I don't think most people give a shit about shipping him with Amy. God, so many of them. I'm gonna keep fighting them, because like I said, it, it is good experience, but... Yeah. Weird saying Sonic is in love with himself considering fix of him being super pregnant. Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe I knocked myself up. Sonic is his own grandpa. And father. And mother. And grandmother. You thought Violet was, Violet was bad? Nope. Sonic the Hedgehog. He was whining about how she's 12 and people are creepers for doing it. She's an anthropomorphic headshot, also, she's not real. <laughs> yeah, I'm Amy's 12 years old, canonically, still, really. That's why she's voiced by like a 50 year old woman in Sonic. <laughs> That's why she's voiced by a 50 year old woman now. Yeah, she really sounds like a 12 year old girl in all the current, uh, current series. I'm trying to create a three house to OC, but when it comes to Crest, do you have to have a Crest already in the game or should you make your own? Um, I mean, it would go against the lore to make your own, but it also might be more fun to make your own. If you have a cool idea. That you think would work if it's a completely new crest, then I say you can for it. You can post it. But what was that about her and Rouge? I don't know. I wouldn't call it a fad. I just know I've been seeing a lot of it. it, it it's, it's, it's a lot of the same art. It seems like it's by the same artist, too, for the most part. But um, I've seen people role swapping Amy and Rouge. So you've got Amy actually having, you know, a personality. <laughs> being all sultry and shit. I don't know the source or anything, I just keep seeing it on like a uh, on e randomly. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a huge pad. It's definitely not it's definitely not like a Bowsette type of situation. I'm not seeing it on Twitter too or anything. It's not completely taken over my life like that did. <laughs> But it's something I've noticed the last couple, the last week or so. Sounds hot, I'll take your entire stock. I don't have any of it saved. Like I said, I don't really Sonic. So it was one of those things where I just looked at it and said, Oh, that's me. And then went about my day. Yeah, probably, probably gonna end up over leveled fighting all these enemies, but whatever. It was at least cute in the context you saw, yeah. Oh, 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 a ship. Amy and Sally? Yeah, I don't know. Sally's such a weird... A weird outlier. Because, like, she was such important, uh, an important character for a brief time, but only in, uh... Only in the context. Look at this fucking thing. What is that? What is that? Silly. I'm sure. I'm sure mo most ships can be made cute. You just have to get good at that whole writing thing. 
crest named after a figure in Norse mythology. I have no weapon that opposes the sword of the creator. Ooh, very nice. That could be cool. But yeah, I say I say go for it. Like if if you think it's more interesting to just make your own crest, then you know, no sense in adhering to canon. It's like you're making an OC. Have fun. Disappear. I don't want to fight you. Problem is Sonic came in for ridiculously bad decisions and happens having no self-awareness about it. I don't know. Sonic Sonic Forces was like so blatant in its ridiculous over-the-top edginess and stupidity that I have to assume they were at least somewhat self-aware. And just and just how they managed to incorporate the uh the OC, the donut steel. Because like just the fact that you 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 create your own character and they can be a lot. There's a bunch of different species, options, everything, lots of different costumes, and that character is just your best friends forever with Sonic. You go through level, fist bump starts playing. Like I I feel like they're self-aware to a degree. Maybe not self-aware in some other aspects. But yeah, um, yeah. No, no, not wardrobe. Too much self-awareness. Well, Sonic Boom, yeah. Sonic Boom also exists. So they know. They know. Alright, saving it because I don't want to have to deal with popping back out of here and ruining my one chance with one. Having three fucking savage enemies surround me again. Yeah, typically, typically if it doesn't show up right away, then that means it just ain't happening. Like, I've been able to get other enemies to spawn there, like, right when I'm leaving, but it tends to just be a regular red one. But at that rate, it's gonna be a gold one. It should show up right away. Hmm. I wonder if I'm so overleveled now that they're not appearing either. Because I'm not even seeing savage enemies. I mean, that, that can't be, though, because the savage enemies were also higher level than me. Is there anyone here? Hello? Mr. Obama? Mr. Obama, get down! Huh. Yeah, apparently I actually broke the game. No enemies are showing up. That's bizarre. I've never had that issue. I thought the fact that they were unique kind of overrode the need for levels. Because, like, I recall doing this pretty late game on the, uh, the Wii U version, and this method still worked uh, just fine. Nothing wrong with being overleveled? Yeah, no. In this game, considering some of the gimmicky boss fights we've had lately, like that last one in particular and the having to kill the enemies at once thing, we're on hard mode. I don't think there's any harm in being a little over. You don't think Sonic Force was self-aware because they believed that that stuff was a good idea? <laughs> I mean, it kind of was. That game sold well. I believe it did. I mentioned the president man. Am I not allowed to mention the president man? No. But it's the old president man. Shit's going down with the current president man that I won't get into because politics. I think that I think that's actually happening to me. I don't know. I never I never fucking know what's happening with politics because I don't read the news anymore or watch the news just period because I'm so tired. So I have to rely on what shows up trending on Twitter. The problem is that Twitter is full of a bunch of Polita babies who literally don't fucking know any better. And get just a bunch of shit wrong and don't know how any of the impeachment process actually works. But something is happening today. Who knows what, who knows what it actually is? I don't know what stage of the process it's actually on, but hearings of some kind are happening today, apparently. My fellow Americans, it is with uh, great joy. And I'll turn all over the USA into anime. I still sound nothing like President Obama. I, uh, 
Oh, you guys can do this. People, I mean job. Can you be honest and say politics suck? Uh, absolutely. Phoenix, in this house, we love and we hate and disrespect politics. All of it, just in general. All stupid. Right now, everyone on every side is kind of an asshole. And yet, our favorite game of all time is about war and foreign politics. <laughs> what, you talking about Three Houses of I wouldn't say it's my favorite game of all time. It's a, that's a tough, that'd be a tough, if you're asking, that, that'd be a tough question. Three Houses is certainly up there. Like I said, it's on my 3x3. Three three. But would I rank it over stuff that's been around in my life for much longer, or stuff that's literally changed me as a person, or changed the way I think about things? Like Final Fantasy X? I don't know about the app one. Maybe game for <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog 100% run? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Please don't do that. What is Japan Japanese national anthem? Oh, say can you see by the burgers we like what so proudly we hail that rice balls don't exist, jelly donuts are good. Um, Something like that. Japan <laughs> <laughs> of National Anthem is sung by the stars of four kids. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a much better idea. Than my shitty ass on the spot rewrite lyrics. If it was self aware it would act like it was going to do something and subvert expectations like Metal Gear Rising. Uh fair enough. Fair enough, actually, Jux. Catherine Volbody was about politics. <laughs> Space politics. <laughs> yes. Three Houses is your favorite Fire Emblem game, not your favorite game in general. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, it's absolutely my favorite Fire Emblem game now. No question. Like, Awakening, I, I had, I kicked Awakening off my list. <laughs> Awakening was on my 3x3 and my 5x5. It's not on either anymore. Japan Fornia's National Anthem is the One Piece theme. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Dreamin', don't give it up, Luffy. Dreamin', don't give it up, Zolo. Dreamin', don't give it up, Namagiri. I had a seizure towards the end. Don't worry about it. Don't give it, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Uh, here's how the story goes. You find out about a treasure in the Grand Line. There's no doubt. The pirate whose eyes on it, he'll sing. I'll be king of the pirates. I'm gonna be king. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Uh oh, it's me, it's Luffy, the Spunk D Luffy, king of the pirates. He's made of rubber. How did that happen? Yo ho ho! Took a bite of gum. gum. I miss four kids. I miss four kids and I don't give a shit who knows it. I miss it all. I miss the one, I miss, I miss one piece. I miss all four kids one piece. I don't care how inaccurate it is. I miss Pokemon's dub not being trash. I miss rice ball burgers. I miss jelly donuts. I miss the Shadow Realm. I miss it all. <sighs> you could give me the bits for that rewrite, but you don't have enough. <laughs> no worries, Phoenix, not offended. How songs can be set most old games? Oh yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I've read about other Fire Emblem games and how they're kind of lacking in, uh, in, in the character department. Stuff for animes nowadays is just garbage. It all sounds so monotone. No, not all of them. Most dubs are fine, even modern ones.
It's just the people, like, like I said, people shit on four kids so hard for the censorship and the localization and everything. But like, the fact is, um, the actual voice acting was good, which I care more about than uh, than accuracies, accuracies for the most part. Some good ass American theme songs too. I ain't even lying. As soon as a good does it actually translates quite well. Would I be willing to make an anime of my dreams if it meant having a horrible English dub? Yes. Kirby's one of your favorite shows on there still is. Kirby was fun. I liked Kirby. Anyway. It was very cute. My dog's going crazy. Don't worry. Like part five, Jojo Dub actually uses. Every yeah, he uses Ita use Italian slang every once in a while. Yeah, it's nice. I appreciate it. Point. I'm, a, I'm a pretty big defender of English dubs in general. I think that most people who complain about English dubs don't know what bad is. You people haven't seen what I've seen. You people haven't watched Garzy's Wing. You people haven't watched the dub for the Yu Yu Hakusho movie. You don't understand. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby's the one. Kirby theme song was kind of clean. Most of the four kids' openings were kind of clean. Not even lying, Zeodyne. Yes. God, yes. Mm. What do I think of the Final Fantasy 15 boys? Uh, the characters were only the only... <laughs> the characters are the only reason I was able to f stick with that game. Because, like, the gameplay and story were, um... Subpar at best. But as far as the boys go... Just being on a road trip with them, I actually really liked all of them. Except Gladio, actually. I take that back. I forgot. I forgot Gla <laughs> I forgot Gladio existed. Fuck Gladio. Four kids JoJo. <laughs> God. Alright, well, the game seems to have decided to just fucking stop spawning those rare enemies on me, so I guess I'm gonna have to deal with not having the stuff right away. Granted, most of them don't, like, I have some material, a couple of materials, and people just don't seem ready for them. Like, I'm guessing there's later enemies that drop the stuff I need anyway, so I'm just gonna have to settle for doing that off screen Because they are not cooperating. In which case, let's just get out of here and start actually progressing again. Oh, wait, no, we can do, um, we can do Mamori's side story, actually. Is it Gladio's personality? I was fine with his per- I was fine with Gladio. Until, um, until bad stuff happened. I forget- I forget the chapter titles and everything. But, um... I was- I was fine with Gladio until, um... What was the fucking Italy ass city? I was fine with Gladian Show until after the Hydra, uh, uh, the Hydreon stuff happened. Then he became awful. He became awful, and I hate him. I also still don't understand why the fuck he randomly left at one point for a couple of, for a couple of hours to do his DLC. Like oh, I wasn't strong enough, and then he just he just didn't do anything once he actually played the DLC. I'm like okay, all right. Mamori more easier side thing in Shibuya. Just have a sub just for Jojo on streaming since he's removed most of the cursing, do they? I will say the dub's been going full ham with the cursing. Like pretty much everything short of uh Oh, she said Daitama, that's weird. Okay. There's also another request. I'll pick it up. I probably won't do it on screen though. Lots of cursing in the Part 5 dub. Lots of cursing in general, like, not that other previous seasons really held back on it. Okay, we actually 
actually probably can do that. That'll be easy enough to pick up, but let's start Mamori's. Mamori's important. Yeah, you had an argument with Burry. Recommend a level 34. We got that. Censoring old man Joseph. They didn't really, from what I remember. Maybe on the Adult Swim airing, but, um... But, um, I, on my most recent rewatch, I watched the, uh, the Blu-rays for everything but Part 4, because the second one, uh, the second half of it wasn't out yet. And, um... Okay, there, 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 there's a lot of swearing. Oh, um... Um, come to the place. I, I, <laughs> I left Mamori there. Is she, is she your fucking daughter? You fucking leave your kid at Burger King or something? What? I need to go after Barry. Fucking whatever. Okay. Want to see how four hands I got in the red. <laughs> Anyone else think Jotaro is like really hot? Ah, uh, yep. You are not alone, Phoenix. He is a beautiful hunk of man meat. その but yeah, like literally, the only the only thing I recollect from straight just straight off my memory of the Adult Swim airings of the episodes is uh is uh is Kira's line to the uh the hospital attendant lady or whatever right before he did it. Anyone else think Bruno's really hot? Bruno's cute, but I don't know. He's too mom. He's too mom to be hot. I can't see him as hot, only cute. Being voiced by Ray Chase helps. But just in terms of basic designs, like, eh, he's cute. His momness is what makes him hot. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> I guess he can be a hot mom. That is a thing that happens sometimes. Mamori, you have literally been jumping in front of 50 foot tall monsters to protect other people. Being a good parent is hot, you're goddamn right. I saw something. <laughs> I saw a thing that was like, uh, it was the idea of a, uh, a dad pass for Smash Brothers. <laughs> like, the next pass is just gonna be nothing but dad characters. For hot dads. So we'd get, like, uh, wait, I feel like we'd be, I feel like we'd be missing out. I feel like, t I, if we got something like that, I feel like Terry came a little too early, because Terry is also a good dad. But it would be like, uh... It'd be like Phoenix, Kiryu from uh, from Yakuza. Um, who else? I had a whole list in my head. One second, let me try and think about it. Oh, Dante. You you would argue. Wait, wouldn't that be Virgil? No, no, it's Dante. And then also Raiden and Travis touchdown. That yeah, that's right. I basically yeah, that's why I'm so okay with the dad pass because I basically get what I want. <laughs> so many of the ones I wanted happen to be dads already. It's weird, it's still kind of weird to think about Travis Touchdown being a dad, but he, no, he is. And then Raiden is, so yeah, we could just straight up have a dad pass. <laughs> Kira is freaking hot. Kira is adorable. Yakuza yeah, does indeed have a lot of top tier guys. Oh. I spoke with Drag! Papa Mirage appeared in the Daito TV station. Rag says he respects this person. Maybe he'll give me some advice. Mirage has been cursed, though. So you want to beat the shit out of him to bring it back tomorrow? Yeah, can you help me? You got it. Thanks! Love you! I love you. Bruno is a MILF? 
<laughs> yes, yes, he is. Who <laughs> here thinks Giorno's hot? Giorno's cute. I hesitate to say hot because he's babby, like, actually. Like, he's only, what, 15? He doesn't look 15, but he is 15. So I hesitate to say hot, but he's cute. He's a pretty boy. Just like his dad's. He's got some good genes in there. And it's no surprise that he turned out cute. Um, shit. Daito TV, I think that's where she said she wants to go. Ah, Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. You know what's bullshit? I still love AVGN. Even the newer stuff. I don't think he's gone downhill that much. Is it Majima take care of a baby in the new Yakuza? Yakuza 7? I don't know. I don't know anything about Yakuza 7 other than it's turn-based now and it's a completely new protagonist. I think, as far as I know, Majima and Kiryu are just like summons. Like, they're not even ended as main characters. The Ho's bad move with DQ hero fans started was relatively effective at beating the backlash for the character and it continued throughout the year. And yet, and now, hear me out, and yet, <laughs> who are you quoting, Java? Good God. Is this some YouTuber who's pissed about Byleth, I'm guessing? Speaking of Yakuza, who would bag EY from Persona 5? I am raising both of my hands. You guys can't see it, but I am raising both of my hands. I am an asexual being. I would bang EY. EY cute. I can understand why somebody picks half and be gay. He's incredibly fucking pretty. It's obvious who he got it from. Who's Giorno? <laughs> I'm guessing you still mean Giorno the best. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, he got, uh, he... He hit the genetic lottery. Fucking Jonathan and Dio DNA. Man's got free money. That man is set for life. If Atlas would ever let us bang him, it'd be nice! Ah, God! I ain't got time for you! I ain't got time for you! I'm like 50 levels higher than you! One shot! When Fire Emblem fans want to use it to best so to beat some of the years of pent up abuse and frustration from the Smash Fundams, they're the ones called instigators and toxic. When the Dragon Quest fans did it, it was okay, but when the Fire Emblem fans did it, it's no good. I haven't left my house in five years, and boy do I have some grievances. Like, fucking, fucking stop. Like, you do, like, people, people are dumb. You love my Phoenix Wright voice? <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. I, I, like I said, that's, that's the voice I was so worried about giving to, like, the main character of a thing. Because I was worried it could get grating after a while, but no. As I've learned from how often I apparently just, I seem to just start screaming and go to that voice without even intending to. That's just my ground state. It works fine. Carrier? Oh, well, good god. Okay, I've got to... St uh, stage ranks be damned. i got to start swapping some other people in. This is getting a little silly. <laughs> we'll do Kyria and uh, Telma. Er... Yeah, yeah, your stage rank's lower. We didn't start the fire emblem. I had to cut, pause the Phoenix right stream because he was laughing so hard. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it, Phoenix. Or did enjoy it. I'm not sure if you're playing catch up on one or... This is just an example of it happening at one point. It's not here? Huh. Okay, I thought for sure it'd be here. There was another big open area like this. Let's go find it. Yeah, I'm excited to get, I'm excited to get back to Phoenix, right? Not that, like I said, I'm, I'm thrilled to be playing this. I'm glad this game exists. 
It's probably good to give my voice a break <laughs> from stuff like the gumshoe voice. But, uh, but, but, like, I'm having a lot of fun with those. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't give them a chance earlier, but at the same time, I'm glad I didn't. That I wanted to get to playing them under in this, uh, this format now. Who's the hottest fictional dad you can think of? <laughs> That's a very tough question. There's so many good ones. And there are also, like, different definitions of hot. Where the hell is the place I'm thinking of? Let me just go to the exit and go the long way. It's probably the shorter way, actually. Geralt? Ger yeah, like, see, yeah, like, I, didn't, I don't think I can answer that. There's too many good ones. We were just talking about Kiryu. Kiryu is absolutely up there. Kotetsu from Tiger and Bunny. You would like the Curry right back at you song and Smash? Same. <laughs> EY, we were just talking about EY. He's good. Way too many good dads. Like, actually. Cartoon theme and smash, yes. I approve. Yes. Oh, there it is. There you are, little buddy. How the fuck do I get out there? Huh. Is Yoshi a dad? <laughs> Yoshi from uh, the dinosaur? Or Yoshi someone else? You think the Astral Chain protagonist would get into Smash? I would have thought it was possible, Ken, if not for the fact that they just had that Spirit Board event. Now I don't think it'll happen. How is Astral Chain? I've been hearing a lot of mixed things about it for, for whatever reason. God! Yoshi the Mario Dinosaur? <laughs> I mean, he does lay all those eggs. It's probably a dad. Is Yoshi your pick, Java? Bowser? Oh shit, God, that's right, Bowser fucks! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I, I, I gotta remember. There's a lot of people out there who you would not expect to be dads. Again, we had this revelation a couple of weeks, a couple of streams ago. Palpatine, dad. Goofy, dad. Virgil, dad. These people have fucked. These people have fucked. I don't want Diorama anymore. I changed my mind. Get it away. make good decisions. Dio, Dio's a dad, shit! Dio and Jonathan are dads! Oh no! This, this, this question's too hard. I can't, I can't deal with, I can't deal with this. We're opening a Pandora's box here. There's way too many good dads. Who did Bowser fuck? Uh, Bowsat. Time warp, don't worry about it. How do I get to that place? <laughs> I really wish it would stop resetting my location. That'd be nice. It's back. Okay, 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 okay. I'm an idiot. Don't worry about it. All right, 
just in case. Do I have to have Mamori in the party for this? I probably do. Seems like a thing they do to me. So Bowser Jr. is a son of incest? No, Bowser Jr. is a son of time travel shenanigans. Yep, have to have Mamori. Great. self -cest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. self -cest. That'd be the more apt descriptor. It's not gay, it's self -cest. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, Toma. Curious, even lower level than you. Sense of dangerous presence. Fuck it! Lorenz! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! No. Is this... Was there a fire named... Was there a fire emblem character named Lorenz before Lorenz? Um... <laughs> I know they've recycled some names, but like, um... But, like, Sakurai literally even was talking about the fact that Claude and Hilda had been used before in the last Direct, and he didn't mention Lorenz. What? Send in the fedoras. Is anybody here a tier two? I don't think I don't think anyone here is a tier two. The only tier two subscriber is Lad, so no one has fedoras. Lorenz. Lorenz. Oh, my God. I'm so sad that nobody has Fedora Lorenz's! God damn it! Oh! Lorenz, no! You're a noble. You're of noble blood! Lorenz, you used to care about these things! It's your obligation as a man of nobility! To protect the lower class. <laughs> Lorenz, no! Why are you a heavy armor unit? That's not good for your stats! Lorenz! Get back in your dancer costume! Lorenz! <laughs> That's not Lorenz's voice. <laughs> I don't know what he sounded like in Japanese. I don't. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> that you still hate his hair. I uh, I like his time skip hair. Okay, fine. I don't know. I like. Well, I, I mentioned this before. I feel like I'm one of the few people who unironically loves Lorenz. <laughs> like it's a little frustrating how much he grew on me, but no, I genuinely think Lorenz is a fantastic character. There was, there was a previous Lorenz, I'm guessing you mean, Gamrick? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was guessing there's no way, because this, because this, this side mission was, in, this side story was in the original game. Obviously. They wouldn't have changed a name randomly. So I'm guessing it was always Lorenz. It's only with the power of hindsight that this is kind of funny. Alright. Um, you're gonna keep so many more enemies if I... Well, no, I can at least take out one. Get rid of the paladin. It's okay to kill him. He's not the real Lorenz. We don't care about this one. This was a fraud. I, I feel like I still feel like such an asshole, especially hearing Sakurai say it, or you know, the, the guy dubbing over Sakurai. Sakurai. It's it is apparently supposed to be Lawrence. I don't know. I, I like the way Lorenz sounds better. You think he was the first boss of Fire Emblem 12? Really? That's a random, uh, random one to include. The Reson only seems like a bad guy because of his father. Yeah. Well, Lorenz only seems like- Lorenz only seems like a piece of shit because you think, look at this pompous asshole. Just talk it out his ass. And then you actually get to know him, and it's like, oh, you're not doing it to be an asshole. You just genuinely, because you're a, because you were born with nobility, you genuinely have this sense of obligation that you need to protect people who are technically lower class than you. He's not doing it to be a dick. Star just sounds better in Japanese. Uh, I like her English voice fine. 
Stephanie Shea actually sounding kind of different than she usually does. I can appreciate it. He was a friend general you had to fight. Oh, okay. They're just something to know who to pronounce it. No, I, I'm sure they're technically correct. Like, I'm not going to question the creators. That's probably how it's supposed to be pronounced, obviously, because everyone in the main game pronounced it that way. But then again, everyone in the main game also pronounced Mercedes as Mercedes. So, um... <laughs> fuck it. Like, I, I'm willing to... I, I'm willing... I will pronounce stuff however I want. Is I, I think it's fine to pronounce stuff however you want as long as you acknowledge you're wrong. I'm acknowledging I'm wrong. I'm not gonna stop doing it. It's always gonna be Lorenz instead of Lawrence. It's always gonna be Mercedes instead of Mercedes. And it's always, always going to be Titus instead of Titus. Because tides, like water, like what Spear is mostly made out of, it makes more sense, Japan! That's something to always keep in mind, is a lot of the times these weird pronunciations, it's just because Japan's not good at English. That's not an insult, that's just, it's just a fact. Like, that's how, that's why Simone from Gurren, Laga Gurren Lagan is still Simone in the English dub, even though it's supposed to be Simon. Like, that is what they intended. You know, and you know, you know how I know that? Because in fucking Smash Brothers, the Japanese announcer, what does he say? Simone! For fucking Simon Belmont. And you know that one's not right. It's just how they say it. They say Simon is Simon. Because they don't know how American vowels work, and that's fine. It's not their problem to know how American vowels work. It's just one of those things that happens. But doo doo, though? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's technically supposed to be doo doo. Which is just funny. More reason to play Mars DS games next. Yeah. Like I said, I, I need to look up the, the recommended order. But yeah, if we do just go, go in chronological order, then obviously Marf's uh, DS remix will probably be one of the first things. Hey, Kiwi. You think most people are made of water? Yeah, yeah, Titus is also made of water! 90%. Don't ask about the other 10%, it's a spoiler. Class, your hands are very numb, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll keep you better. I think you need to keep your type into a minimum, I understand. Ten percent carbon fire. <laughs> You'll find out what the other ten percent is if I ever get around to uh, back doing daytime streaming again and start Final Fantasy X. Because I think I think that's what I'll do if I'm able to start the daytime ones again anytime soon. Whoever been a winner who just want to talk. <laughs> Inescapable shot. <laughs> Making sure we're gonna these guys. Yeah, it's all, it's almost like I'm a little over leveled. Slightly reduces damage from bow skills. Oh, you are weak to bow apparently, so that actually might be a good thing. Granted, it might only be with this one, but like you don't need. I'd rather have that than resistance boost. Ten percent pure girth. Have you seen Titus from Final Fantasy X? 10% good at voice acting? You're goddamn right! Because that ha 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 scene, the one that everyone likes to make fun of, is like, oh, the voice acting's bad! No! That is, in fact, a fantastic example of good voice acting. It's supposed to be awkward! Titus and Yuna are two fucking nerds who don't know how to act like normal human beings! It's supposed to be bad! And that's what makes it good! <laughs> I don't want Charmy, it's shit! Gant is 30% girth, that sounds about right. Ted voice, I'm kind of cringy, a second your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion, Phoenix. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect. It's perfectly valid. I love the Final Fantasy X voice acting. Unironically. 
Medium attack that causes confuse. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do like that better than poison. Actually, poison tends to be kind of useless in JRPGs. Hmm. What you call the GBR girth to body ratio? There's a video on Fallout 676 looking at all the glitches. It's called the thousand and one glitches. Oh no, that many! Yikes. <gasps> Lorenz, you're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. Beautiful. It's two hours long, oh my god. <laughs> When am I going to add that to my voice acting reel? <laughs> what the tightest laugh? <laughs> I mean, I do need to update that. But somehow I don't think that would be a good thing to include. Oren seems kind of girthy, but then again, it's hard to tell because his outfit's so hard. To... Yeah. Speaking of, Oren. You know what? I'm going to throw Oren on the hot dad list. He would be another one like Dante, where you argue, wait a minute, he's not actually the dad. No, he is. Dad. Sometimes it's not about whose genes it are. Whose genes it are. Yeah, yeah, that's English. Talking about Japan not knowing English. I don't know English either, clearly. Yeah, see, even he's like, bitch, you're already tanking enemy hits for other characters. You are more than strong enough. Jotaro, goddammit, Jotaro's a dad! Most of the Joestars are dads at this point. At least, like, or at least half, rather. Not, not most. Gabriel, Jack, or Reinhardt from Overwatch. Uh, yeah, they're dads. Based on what little I know about them, absolutely. Joseph, too. God damn it, that's right, Joseph Fox. Don't know how I keep forgetting that one. Jedro has a child called Koichi. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I saw I saw one of those uh those comics or whatever the other day. It was like uh it was Jonathan bitching out Dio and it was Don't talk to me or our son or my or our son or my son's son or my grandson's dog. Just the, the whole chain. Going through the whole bloodline yeah, up into uh up to uh up to uh, up to Jorno. And Joe for Jolene. It was good. And I think Joseph was dressed in drag for some reason because, wait, no, not for some reason, of course he was. Of course Joseph was dressed in drag. Can't wait for you to get to part six. That's gonna be a ride. I can't wait for part six to get animated. I'm hyped. I'd, I'd actually, I'd, I don't know. Depending on how much, how soon we get news, maybe I'll start reading it once part five's over. Or the dub over. The dub is over, rather. I'm curious to know. Johnny can't walk, he's just Watson is Johnny just I don't know anything about RWBY, but I'll take your word for it. I'm excited for part six just to, for, for part six to get animated just to know what Jolene's real hair color is, because <laughs> all of the all of the color schemes for these characters seem to uh, change rapidly once they get animated. Just call it Ruby. No, I don't respect that show enough to call it Ruby. If they're gonna spell it stupid, I'm gonna say it's stupid. Like my favorite, my favorite pop artist, Ka Dollar Sign Ha. Like, if you spell your name in a stupid fucking way that is dumb and makes you look dumb, and I don't respect you as an artist, then I'm not gonna play along with your little game. It's 
It's like fucking for Fantasia Barino thinks she's hot enough shit that she can just call herself Fantasia. It's like, no. You suck. You should not have won that season of American Idol. Jennifer Hudson should have. So fuck you. Your name is Fantasia Barino. I'm not gonna play along with your game. Fuck you. Beyonce. Beyonce wanted to get rid of her last name, but I respect Beyonce, so I'll just call her Beyonce. That's fine. I'll play that game with her. I'll fuck with that. Fitness, safety first. How did she not have HP fitness? That has been a thing for a hot minute, lady. Old Town Road. There are no real colors in JoJo. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It's just funny because like I'll see old manga drawings colored that I guess are not official color if there are no official colors. <laughs> of like uh, Fugo wearing a wearing a green outfit with white hair instead. You laugh at your face so right, you're laughing so much. I'm glad you're having fun. With this. <laughs> you say it R U B. I would also accept that. Red Fugo, yeah. <laughs> A rare Red Fugo. RWBO was originally just Monty Ohm having a flimsy story as an excuse to make his over-the-top fight scenes, and then he died, so the team gives the rest. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, for the record, whenever I talk shit about Ruby, no disrespect to Monty Ohm. Like, he was a very talented animator. I loved the stuff he did before, uh, before RWBY, like the, uh, the Dead Fantasy crossover thing. Those videos were awesome, but, um... But, yeah, just, uh... Just don't care. And have we seen hers yet? I don't know if we've seen hers yet or not, so I'm just gonna let it play out just in case. So even, if, even, if, even if we've seen it before, it bears repeating. This small child high-fiving this giant armor man. Boom, 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 boom. Can't believe Dead Fantasy will be never be, never be finished. It's depressing. I was always so excited when those came out. Like, after years of waiting, you'd get a new one and fucking Kyrie showed up and it was awesome. And it just kind of petered out. It's very sad. It's very sad, but I don't know if I'd want someone else to take over and finish it now. Wouldn't seem right. Much like it doesn't seem right that they keep doing Ruby without him. I'm sorry, RWBY. I misspoke. I had call. I just had a sip of coffee. Don't worry about it. You didn't hear that. Yowie hands! Reach for my yowie hand! You know, they say about men with big suits of armor? That they're secretly super tiny on the inside? And also you forget they exist half the time? Like Calum? What's wrong with saying it? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with saying it that way, Kiwi. It's just a bit. I'm just running with it. <laughs> that they're all Lorenz? Oh man. Men with big suits of armor are awesome. And good characters that people need to stop shitting on. It's not even hidden! Her th this whole thing's about her wanting to be strong and not be protected. She's protecting us! Oh, but she's cute, so I guess it's fine. Oh my god. We got a microwave? <gasps> we microwaving! Fuck yes. He thought the music was running in the 90s, oh my god. 
Nah, I don't remember that. We don't talk about that. Oh, please tell me we get her microwave and outfit now. Please tell me that's a thing. Tell me. Oh, all guys in armor are Lorenz. Or they have small dicks. Take your pick. Or both. Your roommate's giving you shit again, Kiwi. I'm sorry. Not cleaning up. That's, that's awful. I feel your pain. It always sucks having to live with people who don't know how to actually keep things fucking cleanly. No way to do it in Gilbert have huge dongs. This is true. This is true. Never mind. Our theory our theory's been blown. <laughs> it's true, you've seen them. You don't even need to see them, Java. You don't even need to see them, Java. Sometimes you just know. You just know. Mamori, do you just know? No, you're 11. That's weird. No, you don't know. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll tell you when you're 27. No, no, it's okay. You you fucking saved my ass in a sa against a savage enemy like 50 times. I can help you out once in a while. We're square. Deuces. We're talking about dick dimensions of fire level characters in chat. Have I, have I mentioned lately how much I love you guys? <laughs> oh. oh, you're just giving your reports. Okay, fair enough. Hard at work, I'm sure. <laughs> Boom. Stay drank. Very nice. She's almost kind of caught up with everyone now. Now we're talking about dick dimensions while talking to the small, adorable Dotteru. We're a bad influence. We're not. We're not fit to be a parent. We are not fit to Mal Mamaru. And I think she actually has another one already. Because we got her uh, her stage rank high enough. So, we will do Subasa at some point. I promise I'm not avoiding it because I'm, I don't like her or whatever. But, like, we're at uh, level 47. We're waiting. Why isn't dick sizes in their profile? Fucking right. If the girls' chest sizes are on these profiles, why aren't the guys' dick sizes? Sexism. That is true sexism in the fine nation of Japan of Fornia. I decided this game also takes place in Japan, California. Don't worry about it. Eat your hamburger, Apollo. Eat your hamburger. Oh, there's a thing. I got a stamp card. There's a little girl in front of the pharmacy I was looking for. There's a little girl in front of the pharmacy? Hey, cutie. Eek. You're still being a bitch. Good to know. Good to know. Good talk. Good talk. Oh, I had to go to the pharmacy anyway to uh to get that guy some diarrhea medicine or whatever. Let's just do it. Pants don't need to be adjusted for dick size. Nah, nah. Nah, don't worry about it. Is this a pharmacy? This looks like a pharmacy. Yeah. God, look at all that money. Jesus Christ. If to do it to be true together, who's the bottom? Uh, I love Dimitri, he's a bottom bitch. Is this your thing? Thanks, Bobby Chen! Oh, you're go- 
Oh, shit. I'm sorry for making fun of you. You're going to see Kamen Rider? Oh, what a cool kid. Holy shit. Wait, what? Do you need help getting there or something? Oh, you lost two. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh, oh we're, we're absolutely helping her. She wants to see... She's, she's seeing Kamen Rider. We gotta help her. We have to. We actually have to. Gotta promote, gotta promote good, wholesome media for the kids. We have to. Excellent. Yeah, as I said, I don't, I don't care for doing busy work side quests on screen, but fuck it, this is important. This is important. A small child needs to see her common Rider. We owe this to ourselves. Why does Itsuki just buy Subasa her way to stardom, I mean? <laughs> At this point, yeah. I don't know how I got that much fucking money for the record. Like I said, I didn't do much grinding off screen. Power bottom is what Dio is, yes. We think Dimitri's a power bottom, or Dadu is a power bottom, okay. <laughs> in front of 106. Good god, how many, how many fucking friends do you have? I, I appreciate you trying to get the rest of your friends to the common Rider, but like, see, you can't force it. You have to wait for them to express interest. Chat, please express interest. <laughs> no. Let's see. There it is. What? Demetrius is switching. No one can change your mind. Ah, fair enough. Where is it? Hmm. Is it inside the dungeon? If it's not, like, right inside, I'm gonna say fuck it. Never mind. Screw it. She can watch Kamen Rider on TV like the rest of us. Yeah. Ah, I don't see nothing. Actually, never mind. That's only like two thousand dollars. That's true. Yeah, we got to remember this is in yen. I'll go double check with her one, one, one moment last time, but... But yeah, I'm not gonna... Run all over the screen for a side quest that doesn't matter. Speaking of Kamen Rider, what was the one you should start with? You found a thing for, but you forget. Um... I forget what we decided on for you the best. Passed in front of the 106. Yeah, I went in front of the 106. We can start with the one that has Bugman on it. That's all of them! Some of them more obviously Bugman than others, but that is all of them. Let's see. I know, um, I'm trying to remember all the stuff I said. I know I said, if, if you like, if your favorite, we have a lot of JoJo fans in chat, so it's a good comparison. If your favorite JoJo is part four, start with four, say. The end of the era I was talking about. Mm, good question. Ant-Man, Ant-Man... Marvel Ant-Man is basically a common Rider. Okay, yeah, she's saying it's in front of it, but I don't see it, so I'm guessing it's in the dungeon. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll go give the other guy his diary medicine, though. That shit's important. If you wanna- if you actually care about starting them in order, like, I-, I you don't need to start in order, I maintain. You really don't. Like, just watch whatever one sounds interesting, but if you want to start in order, uh, start with the Heisei era and start with Kuga. <laughs> I mentioned the one with shipping material. If you if you want gay, if, if all you care about is gay, you either need to go with O's, double, or build. Any will do. I think I, I forgot to mention double last time, but double is just as gay. So. So just go for it. Like I said, it just depends. Like, which one I recommend depends on, like, what, so what kind of genre, genre you prefer, honestly. Kamen Rider's got a little something for everyone. If all you care about is gay. You heard gay, Phoenix? Yeah. If you're looking to get into Kamen Rider, and all you care about is which one's the most gay, double, O's, or build. Diary is more, <laughs> Diary is more important than Kamen Rider. 
<laughs> I mean, apparently. <laughs> we'll do that one for that. That's fun. Hey, <laughs> Mike, you chill? Can I get your advice? Is that why there's an archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bug superheroes? That is absolutely why, Jux. That is, it's a straight-up <laughs> reference. Funny enough, when your little brother hates and they try to make stuff gay, even he agrees on the speed wagon. Love Jonathan, yep! <laughs> Sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it just happens. One of my dear old friends back in DC, he never shipped gay stuff. Like he didn't, he didn't care. Like he, because he was back with me, back with me in my edgy phase when I didn't give a shit either. I was like, hey, don't make everything gay. Even uh, JoJo's a Kamen Rider reference. Part eight that? sounds about right. Kamen Rider is very big in Japan. If there are any Franken brands out there, there's a huge subplot dedicated to uh, to making fun of Kamen Rider, essentially. Yeah, like I said, but with with, uh, with Common Rider, just tell, tell me what kind of stuff you usually watch, and I'll tell you which one you, which one would probably be good for you. If you like Kamatika Magica, start with Gaim. If you just want Gay, I've already said. If you like JoJo Part Four, watch Forze. If you like crime dramas or uh, mystery stories, then also watch Double or Drive. What Marvel heroes would I bang? Uh, Thor's cute, Cap's cute. Um, Drax. Drax is pretty hot. Not gonna lie. Um, shit. What are we doing? Um, uh, Ellie, I guess. Let's start with Ultraman. <laughs> Everything have to look better. No. You really like the band In Sync. Which Kamen Rider would I recommend? El older sister, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, see, boss is a baby sister, yeah, I, I made the right choice. <laughs> Let's see, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually seriously thinking, like, I might be able to f figure out something just based on that. I ain't joking. Let's see, let me refresh myself, let me actually look at what I'm seeing here. Oh, I can look, look at everything I'm thinking of, because like I said, I can't in good faith recommend any Showa shows. Like, they're- they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just they're too old and outdated. Like, they're not a good way to start the franchise. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing because I didn't read her- actually read her text. I'm assuming we need to go here. This is where we go for everything. It's like dumb bullshit. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Are we at least halfway through with this game? Um, kind of, but not really. Like I said, chapter, um... Chapter 5 is pretty long. Like, it's far and away the longest chapter in the game. It ha it'll have the most dungeoning involved. But roughly halfway. Maybe slightly closer to it. Maybe maybe more like a third of the way would be a good way to put it. But we're making good progress. Okay, you like NSYNC, you like boy bands? Um, watch Deno. Because the Imajin are basically a glorified boy band. Den dash O. That's my recommendation. Situation. 
Oh, that's all right. Gambate and all that. You'll do fine. Hmm? Aww. They're doing an improv skit, basically. You showed your little brother the banana arm thing and he was like, okay, maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> Yeah, like it, like I said, like I can recommend other series, and and I definitely don't think Gaim is a good entry point because it's so at odds with what Common Rider is usually like. But if all you care about is dumbass shit like the banana arms thing, intercut with a genuinely very good heart wrenching story by the same fucker who did Monica, um, uh, Monica and Fate Zero, you 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 you'll have fun, quote unquote, with Gaim. You'll have fun for about 12 episodes. And then everything will hurt and it will not stop until the very end. And even then it'll kind of hurt a little. You gotta go with her. Shop separately defeats the purpose. Oh, this is pretty cute when you still have about a 10 out of 10 girl in this game's boss this come, comes close. Yeah. Like I said, I, I like all the girls in this game, just generally speaking. I mean, but Mamori aside, like, Mamori's on a different tier, but, um... But yeah, I'd be hard-pressed to tell you which one's the best girl. Um, you, uh... <laughs> Beg her for the snacks. Gotta get the Cheetos. And I gotta let the scout out. One second. Actually, been good the last few times he's been here. Mom always disqualified. Yeah, exactly. You found a 10 out of 10 in your boy Toma. Yeah, I was gonna say, the boys are a different ballpark. Gonna help tonight. Got some 3D wild sculptures to sculpt for tomorrow. Ooh, cool, Kiwi. You have fun. Have a wonderful night. Why are not wild? <laughs> Fair enough. Either way. Either way, best of luck. Have a good one, my dude. But yeah, Mamori's disqualified. Aww. Uh, don't, don't be a, don't be a brat. And also, who would want, what, what small child would want, I would want a beef bowl instead of ice cream? You're happy, you love it. Aww. Aww. Lord, Lord, that's super wrong. I wasn't gonna say anything, Java, but uh, you realize you're in mistake, so. <laughs> Chie would shit, that's right, Chie exists. Get back, Phoenix, welcome back. Got a flavor water, nice. God. What'd you miss? Not too much. We, we're, we're working on Mamori's second side story. All she has to, she's practicing to be someone's little sister for a gig. So we recruited Ellie to help out. Oh, Chie. How's chat feel about Persona 4? Because Persona 4 is also a strong contender for games I'm absolutely going to live stream at some point. I do that next for the daytime one instead of Final Fantasy X, but like with Royal coming up, I feel like uh, doing both of those back to back might be a bad idea. You like Persona 4 Phoenix? Nice. I adore me some Persona 4. I know I say that Final Fantasy X, if you put a gun to my head and ask me for my favorite game, I said Final Fantasy X would probably be the answer. If you made me pick a absolutely one time only favorite game. But uh, I don't know, I flip flop on that one. Persona 4 holds a very, very special place in my heart for many reasons. Oh yeah, you also missed learning what a power bottom is. <laughs> All you need to know is that Dio's a power bottom. 
Dojima can be added to the hot dad list. This is true. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Dojima kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Still salty about Yosuke? I will never not be salty about Yosuke. English voice acting dialogue exists for it. Also, we have 99 messages. Shit, I can actually start reading these now. I did not even... <laughs> clearly wasn't paying close enough attention. All right, we got 99. I can actually start reading these again. I don't have to ignore people anymore. Yay, rejoice. I got the thing. This is so old now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I got the thing. You got the thing. Did I get the... I don't... Did I get the play record for? Good question. I don't know. What a, I don't actually care that much. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a thing that I remember it existed. And people were getting so mad when I was ignoring Tiki or stuff. <laughs> that I ran with it. If I fucked it up somehow, then whatever. I don't care. I'm going to assume I got it at some point and just didn't notice. Messages looking at your emails. <laughs> I'm actually very good at checking my messages in real life. Like I said, I don't like leaving these unread. Like I said, I just happened to remember that this was a thing that existed. Ignore my daughter. No, it's fine. Look, my phone was turned off. It's fine. I wasn't ignoring anybody. It just happened sometime. Kyria, yeah, yeah, well, that's super old. That is, that's so 2000 and late, Maiko. That's so 2000 and late, and we're so 3008. It's not, no. Remember that time that that Black Eyed Peas song came out in the year 2009? So they had to change it to 3008? And it made no sense? It was clearly supposed to be 2008. They're just bad. And their song got delayed. How awful. I got the thing! Are you level 47 yet? No. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be level 47. I'm already overleveled. I don't know why I have yours already. Dude. Common Rider and shit. Bro. Yeah. I like, I like the fucking, they, they tried to make me do the cute shit, and I was like, no. Don't make me do the cute shit. But you did the cute shit, so you win. Are you winning, son? Yeah, yeah, I guess I am winning, son. No worries. Oh, hello, Kirby. Howdy, howdy. I'm doing good. How about you? Ah, powerful thing. Don't worry about it. I have no idea how old this is. Probably very old. <laughs> this too. Not a girl. Fuck it. There we go. Tom's already added to your ever-growing list of husbandos. Like I said, Tom is top tier. I'm torn. Like I said, Toma is kind of best boy just because of the Kamen Rider th connection alone. But uh, Yashiro is going to be putting in some work, as we will uh, we will see pretty soon. Okay, 99 messages gone. Good God. All right, let me check where I actually need to go now, because I completely forget. Let's see. Side story. This one. Oh, I got to activate her, uh, her thingy. Let's see your question. Which question? Sorry. My daughter exists. Yeah, it was for an achievement. You see people say the story of P4 would have been better if Nanako died. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> nah, nah. It's one of those... Persona 4 is one of those games where it honestly could have gone either way. Like, it had a very good balance of happy fun time and actually very serious dramatic moments. It, it could have been whatever it needed to be. That's something that could have gone either way and technically speaking can go either way. But um, but no, I do not. I do not think the story suffered, or I I don't think the story suffers for her surviving. I really don't. Yeah, yeah, cheeky. I know. I'm fucking pumped too. Give me the deets. Yeah, like, if they wanted to go that route and uh, just play things completely tragic and gut-wrenching, I think they would have pulled it off fine. Like I said, I, I, 
I I think Persona 5's writing or Persona 4's writing is a lot better than uh, than most people would argue it is. It could have gone either way. They went with one. I think it's fine for what it is. That is a beautiful, beautiful game. We're not destroying the child. No. Absolutely not. But you say you get a Wayne sword in TMS? You can get something. I forget if it's a Wayne. There, there's some reference to a Wayne. I forget if it's his sword or a performa. It might just be a. It might just be a performa or a rating skill rather. What did Stinky start wearing? How do you do, fellow kids' clothes? Since I made her. She is my child, and I will dress her how I want. <laughs> a reference to a Wayne? Is this Batman? No, 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 it's Wayne's world. Party time. Excellent. <laughs> Dojima, yeah, yeah, it would have made Dojima Social Link worthless. I mean, not worthless if they, if they ran with it and it was intentional. I'm sure there would have been ways of working around it and having the rest of his Social Link deal with coping and dealing with it. But, um, I wouldn't be a good mother. What makes you say that? The fact that I've been on record multiple times saying that I would name all my children after Transformers? <laughs> Just because I want the ability to tell my children, Megatron, stop picking on Starscream, that makes me a bad mother. Sure, sure, that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. At that point, you'd have to know when you just fall apart. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, no, like I said, there could, they could have done the whole thing where, like, you moved and permanent just didn't leave at the end. <laughs> the fucking the awkward zombie comic. Of DDD fearing the anime people, yeah. <laughs> that shit's still so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Katie, man. Her shit, it's, it's frustrating how funny her shit still is. <gasps> I wonder if she'll play this. She's a, she's a big Fire Emblem fan, like way before it really took off in the West. She was an old school fan. I wonder if she's played this game or will play this game at any point. I'd be down for some awkward zombie TMS comics. There is a Ragnall. That's not a Wayne reference, is it? I want to say it's actually something pretty minor. Like, I, I think he might just have, like, a, uh, a rating skill called Aching Blood or something. Something a little more low-key. Ah, oh, my aching blood! Oh, it's a reference Ragnar is? Oh, oh, it's an Ike reference. Okay, cool. Such edge. <laughs> Have you not played Awakening Java? Oh. You don't, if you don't know about Awain, oh boy. I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> Aww. Hey, babies, you two are adorable. Her recent stuff's been kind of dry, but she's busy with real life. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's like a big shot, right? She's like a fucking astrophysicist or like something, uh, like an actually really serious, important job. That takes up a lot of her free time. So, yeah. Completely understandable if some of her newer stuff isn't completely up to snuff. Yes, Yuri's acting and seeing good fucking god. 
Can we talk about how good the Persona 4 anime is, real talk? And their, their, their take on that scene in particular? With the way you and Yosuke react to it? Persona 4 anime is really good. I don't care what anyone says. Like, the animation is subpar. And I don't think it's a fantastic substitute for the game, but, like, it... I really love and respect what they did with the Persona 4 anime. Like, I love what they did with Narukami's character. I love how they managed to incorporate a little bit of everything without going too in-depth on it, like all the extra social links. Um... I don't want to, but they buffed out must be to let Tiki call me that, so I'd feel bad saying she can't. So sure. Oh. Oh. Love percent for the animation, yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> Where were you when the? Where were you when the Persona 4 anime made Yosuke the canon love interest? Like, actually. <laughs> it was so overt. I could not believe what I was witnessing. So good. Ooh, very nice level up, Ellie. Memorias become everyone's sister! Acquire the special performance microwave and soul! Beautiful. All right, think that's about it for now. We said we can do we can do see bosses, but like I'm st I'm still not comfortable with that. Like we're we've been taking on oh oh curious last one is done shit. What's the, what's the thing on yours? It's key. Huh? This one's up no good. Start making trouble in the neighborhood. Got in one little fight. Carry in Wonderland. Um. 42. Mm. Sorry, I got a, I got a thing. <sighs> it's called checking my level. Don't worry about it. Two Nachons, two Nachons. I get all the Nachons I damn well please. I'm just gonna pretend you gets with Yosuke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, since they didn't establish anyone as the actual canon love interest, technically. And since, I mean, uh... Frankly, making Yosuke's character have feelings for the main character makes a lot of the more unfortunate parts of his arc less uncomfortable. Like, everything actually makes more sense if you assume Yosuke is gay for the main character and just so deep in the closet he's finding Christmas presents. So, I roll with it. Uh, we could actually probably take hers. I don't know, uh, she's... she's some of us are trailing pretty behind. Some people are still in the 30s, though. Let, let's hold off until everyone's at least level 40. Get a little deeper in the main dungeon. Been distracted enough by that. That's how it should have been. That's how it was supposed to be. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know what changed, but whatever changed was so last minute that it's. I can't believe they didn't just leave it in or add it back in golden. Because, like I said, English voiceover work was done for it. That is insane. Granted, back then, At Atlas's localization cycle wasn't nearly as long, but, like, it is insane to me that Yuri Lowenthal recorded dialogue for that. It's actually bonkers. All right. Second. Start at the right. Straight out until morning. And by right, I mean left. Don't mind me. I have the same disease as, uh... Someone who runs right into Saturday. I was gonna say I have the same disease as Mr. Uh, what's his fucking name? Red White. <laughs> I have the same disease as Red White. <laughs> when I mix up directions. Fuck myself over for the trouble. Ouchie, ouch. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, my little buddy. Actually, you're... Special performance, it allows you to act again. Heals. Ah, 
Oh, yeah. Scott yeah, fuck it. Also, just to see it, I want to make sure to show at least <laughs> Make sure to show these off at least once. Oh, my God. She healed us with the power of love and microwave. I'm not attacking because I'm pretty sure one of those fuckers has uh, has bodyguard up. And I forget which one. <laughs> Love his dialogue in the bathhouse after the conscious stuff. <laughs> Where he says, you ain't done this, I shouldn't discriminate. Yeah, well, like, like I said, that's the thing. Like, I... I know Yosuke is very hashtag problematic. A lot of people have issues with him. Especially if they don't know about his cut dialogue and everything. But, like, the fact is, he's a teenager. He's in Japan. I don't think he says anything that offensive. Like, when he does, he clearly regrets his actions. Like, he's not always super overt about it. He'll, he'll rip on Kanji and then offer to buy him an ice cream. Without even thinking about it. It's like, he, he's clearly not actually... Yes. Full on homophobic in any kind of way that's dangerous. So I was like, eh, whatever. He's a he's a, he's a dumb kid. And he's dealing with the situation. That's very alien to him in the exact way I expect someone like him would deal with. He's a fucking idiot. Was that a rabbit's microwave? Yes, yes, it was. Your life, night, Java. You have a good one. I don't know if we're gonna get through this dungeon tonight or not. It depends on how badly um, a puzzle coming up fucks me over because I remember having quite a difficult time with it. Blingo, Blingo, Brothers! I don't know the full list of that. Chat, you'll be proud of me. I am working on memorizing the English lyric, the English lyrics for uh, for Great Days. I had not realized that there was a pretty widely accepted actual official. Tra I think I think it's official. I certainly saw it in enough places that it seems official, and it sounds like the same singer, even. I did not realize there was a, if not official, then very ubiquitous, very good English version of the song. So I've been listening to that a lot. It is official? Yeah, okay, I, th I figured. Like, it sounds like the same singers. If it's not just an actual English cover, but it is someone very, very talented. Heavy sword attack. Put it in me. Yes. God, yes. It's very awkwardly worded, don't mind me. Another thing you wish people liked more is I to me. People are for the British chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Absolutely. Because Persona 4 is pretty hard to do a max social link run of. You gotta start prioritizing. Ever since English days. Great, er, ever since <laughs> English days, ever since Great Days, they've been making English versions of the Ups. Oh shit! Is there an official English fighting gold? Now. Nah, <laughs> oh, guess what I'm looking up later, kids. But yeah, like uh, per Persona Four is, it's very hard to max all the social links in that game. Much harder than it was in than it is in uh, Persona 5, and uh, pretty much any subsequent. Still for, so yeah, no, no, obviously just for Persona 5. I'm assuming it's just as easy in Royal, yeah. even with all the extra the new social links. But um, yeah, in in Persona 4, if you don't have a guide or don't know what you're doing, there was a fighting gold English. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm looking that shit up too. God damn. All right. We're learning that one, too. I'll work on it. I'm pretty good at memorizing song, ly song lyrics when I put my mind to it. But yeah, if you're just prioritizing, you only, you'll only you only meet I the first couple of times. 
if you even bother to start hers, your first impression of her is not a good one. A lot of people could very easily miss out on her and brush her off as just annoying rich brat. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Are you part of the cast? The filming's about to start. Get to the filming site in the back. Alright, if you want some last minute tips, try looking for hidden lesson battles. I'm sure with coaches help even you casuals will get some sense knocked into you. I got a bad feeling about this. Don't know how good you'd be at Persona because you're not very good at time management. Um... If, if, if you want to, if, I'm, I'm not sure where, uh, like how familiar you are with the franchise Phoenix, if you're looking to start, I'd recommend starting with Persona 5, possibly. Just because that game is very, very generous when it comes to the, uh, the calendar system. Oh my god, is this the one already I'm thinking of? It is. No, 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 this puzzle. We're in for a long one, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Room labeled one. Good luck fucking getting to it, you putz. Couldn't even be nice to at least put a teleporter here so you don't have to go through the hallways again. Couldn't even do that for you. Uh. I believe this might, uh, I, I said, like I said, the first time I played this, I never used this. I did not realize this was even remotely helpful until the last dungeon, but I think it might actually work here, so let's try that. It actually does, cool. Very nice. Alright, new enemies. Anyone think Persona will come to the Switch? I think it's possible. I don't know about Persona 5, I feel like we, I feel like we kind of missed the boat on that one. I feel like if there were any even vague plans for Persona 5 to come to the Switch, it would have been announced already because of Goku and Smash. But as far as uh, other titles, I do think uh, I do think eventually we'll get uh, we'll probably get four and three more likely than not. Hopefully soon. Those would be very good games for that. Easy to play on the go and whatnot. Granted, granted, uh, their granted Persona 3 Portable the thing and the and Persona 4 Golden was on Vita, but the Vita's bad console. So. Ooh, very nice. Kind of hope Scramble has some social links. I don't know what uh, Scramble's interesting. Like they, they've never done anything like that before. That's like advertised as an actual sequel, yet do, yet does have different ca gameplay mechanics and looks more like a spinoff. Fuse box. Oh, it's a new uh, new skill. Subiasa. Okay, this isn't the one I was thinking of. For the record, there are uh, there are two legs of this area. This is the Comparatively easy leg. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Okay, maybe this is the one I want. Seems like Sony stepped in to stop P5 Switch. Really? Oh. Was that actually a thing? Ooh. I know that was a big conspiracy theory. But did they actually do that? Wow. Yeah, they wanted they want to keep it exclusive. Persona 5 is a uh or Persona 5 was a big hit. And that's something that if they technically had the uh the power to keep it exclusive now, I can totally see why they would. Sony cucked us. Yeah, that sucks. That really does. Like I said, I don't I don't give a shit about console wars, any of that stuff. I just I just it, I for all my issues with it, Persona 5 is a good game. I'm hoping Royal fixes a lot of the issues I have with it. It's a good-ass JRPG, and I like people being able to play those. And it's unfortunate that more people won't be able to, especially because, like, Joker was such a big deal. He garnered a lot of interest in the franchise. Okay, never mind. Maybe this is the one I'm thinking of. 
God, I hope this, I hope this, as bad as it sounds, I hope this is the one I'm thinking of, just so I won't have to do anything like this twice. Are there two different settings? There might be. Let's see. Oh wait, is there, is there a gap where I can get through? For the record, if you step on these purple panels, if you don't, if you don't use like Toma, like I never did, or whatever, then it's not uh, you're not necessarily screwed. Some of them, I, they all do different things. Like they all, they either give you a random trivia question or some shit, or put you into a random battle. <laughs> Respectfully, by percent of five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, not gonna judge. I don't know for sure. I'm the Ryuji lover. I liked Ryuji. I loved Ryuji even for the first dungeon. I thought it was great. I was like, oh man, Yusuke was my free season fave, but like this this kiddo is awesome. I love this boy. He's great. And then it was all downhill from there. He's not the worst, but like, good. He he went from being his own thing to being uh, to being y Yosuke Mach Two, and that's fine. I love Yosuke, but I didn't need Yosuke again. For a while, Ryuji was kind of his own thing, and I appreciated that more. Speaking of rumors, I think Violet was swapped for the real Fighter Pass Five. <laughs> Is that where we're at? These fucking conspiracy theories. Yeah, they, they yeah they sw they swapped Violet in because um. Because we had already bought the fighters pass, and people couldn't be mad about a Fire Emblem character if they have, if they had waited and just dropped her as the first one of Fighter Pass Two, then you would have run the risk. The risk of people not pre-ordering the pass because of there being a Fire Emblem character first. I don't see how that's possible. I don't buy into that. They forgot his good traits focused on the fact that he's dumb. Yep. Boy, it sure is great being a member of the Phantom Thieves! Boy, howdy, I love it! Oh. We're seeing it pretend I was cast beating him up after he almost died. That was one of the worst scenes. I wouldn't say the worst. There are a couple things that make me much more angry <laughs> than that scene. But that scene is trash. So if Ryuji confessed his love for us, if, Ry if, if they gave us a gay option, and the only one is Ryuji, we'll date him. Sure, why not? But god damn it. Hey! Hey! Oh, we have a teleporter finally. Sweet. Excellent. Main reason of the stage in Final Smash PNG seem more rushed than past fighters. I could understand that, actually. That's actually a fair point. That Final Smash is a little weird. It genuinely uh, just kind of doesn't seem right. Yeah, this is the room I was... I think this is the room I was thinking of. In conclusion, play Persona 2. Uh, 50 subscriber goal. That's what I decided. <laughs> we get 50 subs, I will play Persona 2 on screen. Both of them. Maybe not necessarily back to back, unless we get another. Unless we get a hundred subs or something fucking crazy. A huge donation or something. But, uh, 50 subs, I will play Persona 2 on screen. Would 
Bruce could probably go along in happiness if Ryuji can best his love for us, you know? Same with EY, same. We get to an end, it doesn't change my game, we get just skip it. The ship scene, um, <laughs> maybe. We'll see how burnt out we are on the game by the time by the time Royal comes out. And see how much has changed and see how annoyed I am with it, depending on how much has changed. What's in this room? Sense of dangerous presence beyond. Hmm. I am not going to y'all. We'll, we'll just deal with whatever's behind here first before I go screw something that destroys it up. Or before that even. Haven't seen the final smash, but you assume it's Pilot saying how much she loves Edelgard and the other friend's heads explodes. I fucking wish. That's the kind of craziness I can respect. But no. Alright. One second. We're gonna fuck with the boss first or whatever's behind there. But first. I got a body. Be right back. Don't want to see it because it makes you feel worse thinking about how. Oh, oh, the Ryuji thing, yeah. Probably gonna date Futaba or Takemi again. Good choices. I, I see Futaba as too much of a sister, but I respect people who choose her. She's a good girl. We could do a Smash fight when Byleth drops, host an arena in classic mode. Oh, that could be fun. If y'all y'all want to kick my ass, you're all gonna. <laughs> You've all seen the For Fun These episodes with Ivy and Ian. I suck at Smash, but I have fun playing it anyway, so I'd absolutely be down to uh, down for doing that. When does she drop? The 28th? Something like that? Yeah, I'd absolutely love to do that. That sounds fun. Some easy like, as you can see the whole game, how quick Ryuji is to forgive someone as long as they deserve it. Yeah! No! But uh, the best, I'm going to have a lot to say about uh, about the team giving being forgiving. And how I actually do think that's a good thing when we get to a certain scene in Persona 5. That, that, I don't know how, that again, I don't know how, they, how much they all have changed it. Did I not heal? I did not heal. Yeah. 28? Cool. Sweet. Ooh, next week? God damn! That's so soon! Ooh, yay. Yeah, we'll totally do that. Big fan of... The vet, or uh, being just a fan of the, the intermission card. Yeah, Jux did a fantastic job. Specific cat on Ivy, no one's gonna get the reference. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I adore that thing. Turned out so good, Jux. Uh, let's see. Let's get Mamori's doing pretty good on finally catching up on the uh, the ranks. She also needs a new thing, and I missed it apparently. Plasma Axe. But let's see. Oh, that's one thing I did off screen I guess I should make note of for anyone who plans on playing this at some point. Um, I got a new uh, Radiant skill for Itsuki at one point off screen of the, of the few things I did do off screen. 
It, um, from what I understand, it just makes it so that your, uh, your backup party members gain more experience for, uh, their carnages. So they don't quite level them up as slowly, even if they're not in the main party. Which is nice. Yeah, yeah, we can walk with this. Should be fine. This is dangerous presence. Fuck it, we got this. And Ivy's tagging me in retweets again. You got work that like Gamrick, damn dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe that can be a daytime stream if I'm able to do it. Or maybe we can just do it, um... What day of the week is that? Oh, that's right in the middle of the week, yeah. And we can either do that later in the week during the weekend when more people are off work or whatever, and not in school. Or we can do two nights, as long as people are still down for it. Like I said, y'all are gonna have to forgive how bad I am at that game. The 29th, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday, right in the middle of the week. That could be a little better for some people. Especially depending on what time, what, especially depending on uh, what time of day it comes out. Like, if they, if they don't come out until, like, 8 o'clock at night or something, then the 29th might be better anyway. You're only in it for Constance. <laughs> for the Yowza's DLC. Oh, yeah, when does that come out? Does that come out the same day? It would not surprise me. Because, you know, Smash is just a walking advertisement for Fire, for fire Emblem. Oh, no, February 12th. Okay, yeah, I got a little longer on that scale. Fair enough. Get ready for Yuri, Yuri is a gay option. That's actually confirmed, right? That's cool. Maybe I'll finally pick male Byleth. And we'll boink Yuri. <laughs> February, yeah. February 12th, according to a, uh, an automated Google, Google result. Yuri is just lower Leon, who's just gayer Leon, pretty much. <laughs> he does remind me a lot of Leon now that I think about it. I think my joke when I first saw him was that he looked like the, the son of Violet and, uh, and Lorenz. Oh no! That sister who was fucking dead for five years, who we barely touched on, and is now just assistant. Or February 13th, okay. Hoping Malthus would be a, a gay option. That'd be a good way to subvert expectations. Make the big buff do the gay option rather than the, uh, the Femi guy. The Femi guy, who most people aren't even sure he was a guy or not. He does have an ending with Claude, though, because he's apparently also part Elmyron. So that'll be neat. I live, bitch. I prefer female Violet. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I do too, Phoenix. Like, I don't know. Crash was five years ago, too, boss, so you have to let it go. <laughs> God. You know, like, um, I, I don't know. In terms of... Sometimes with games with gender options, sometimes one or the other just feels right, you know? Um, calm down. Your sister's already dead. That one you reads the scene? Yeah. Good God. But you know, certain games with uh, with gender cho choices, sometimes one or the other just feels more natural than the other. Like, it, it, it's hard to explain, but it just does. Like as much as I love as much as I love marrying Crom, uh, it's basically it might as well be canon either way. And uh, just in terms of female, I, I don't know. Like male Robin feels right for Awakening. All right, uh, acting, Ellie, you are acting lady. 
Like, male Robin felt more appropriate for whatever reason. Female Corrin felt more appropriate in Awakening for whatever reason. Awakening Fates, for whatever reason. Female Byleth just seems to make a little more sense to me. In, uh, in Three Houses, I don't know why. It just feels like it. If you like Angry Byleth, makes more sense to me if we notice your emotions if you look like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, I do completely understand people's criticism of female Byleth. The, uh, the stockings, the fact that she doesn't look like a mercenary nor a teacher. And those were her, are her two professions. But I don't know. I just, I just like it. I think I, I like her design. She's cute. I like the stockings. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> I wish I could float in a chair. Loki wanted to be the flame emperor. I thought it was. He was. I thought it would. I thought it could be him. Like that was one of my theories going in. Like. She, not knowing anything about the game, going into it, I thought the Flame Emperor was probably either Yuritsa or Hubert working at, working for Edelgard. Like I said, I thought I thought it was like a um, a body double type situation. Like I thought Ed Edelgard basically was the Flame Emperor, but I figured Hubert was her body double or whatever. But no, the Flame Emperor is short. <laughs> it was like, oh no, it's her. You can write a net support between Balthus and Male Byleth. Ooh. Can't promise it'll be good, but you'll do your best. Yeah, I'd be interested to see that. I'd say maybe wait until after the games, uh, the DLC's out. We know a little more more about his character. But yeah, I'd say go for it. I love reading little what ifs like that. Bad grammar is cool, kids. Poor capitalization is cool. It was just Edelgard on stilts, not even stilts! <laughs> like, once we actually saw the Flame Emperor in a cutscene, he was just really short. Oh shit, tomboy voice. Too strong. Santa costume. That's right, I see. Thank, you for say thank you for mentioning the word costumes, Jax. I need to look up uh, if there are any new costumes to buy. I'm guessing we have at least one new one for Malmori after doing her side stories. Might be time to switch up some costumes anyway. Are we sick of Itsuki being Joker yet? Should I change his or do we like Itsuki as Joker? If people are sick of Itsuki Joker, I'll change it up. Just to change it up. You think we should do M. Byleth for the DLC, but that's just you. I'd be okay with it. It depends on what I have to do. Like, it honestly depends on if I have to- Do I have to start a completely new save file for DLC? Do we know that yet? Because if so, I want to go ahead and get started on that. That's fine. I don't know, can she stop being a basic bitch? Ten seconds. Hopefully, remember is a DLC costume. Oh, that's right. So I assume with the um, I assume with the Cindered Shadows or whatever, we'll also be getting some more costumes. Hopefully, I wonder what we're getting. Do we know anything about that yet, or if that if that's even happening? I'm assuming that would be a thing. I hope it's a thing. I like the costumes. Even if they've been kind of underwhelming, like I said, I actually don't really like the look of the Maiden Butler ones. It's a separate side mode. The reward is you can recruit them for the main game. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, so I don't have, so I don't have to start a new save file and have or replay everything for them. Cool. That's good. That's excellent. I think that's the same, similar to what they're doing with Kingdom Hearts uh, Remind. I don't know for sure because I haven't read into anything about the Remind DLC, but I think I read that at some point. That it's going to be like a separate mode. I think I have actual good villains in this DLC. 
I was gonna say, what are you talking about? Edelgard was a fantastic villain, but she really wasn't. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I love three houses, but yeah, the villains were kind of lacking. They didn't give Edelgard the dimension she needed. When the time came to see Rey as the villain instead, they didn't uh, go far enough with that. One Edelgard to just claim ever public, so the reveal is even more ridiculous. Hope they're good in one, one note, yeah. Like I said, I'm a little worried. They, like, just... I have no basis for this, other than that just looking at them, they seem kind of stock. But that's what I thought about most of the three houses cast. Like, I was not a fan of very too many of the character designs. Good god. That's the power of a heavy damage move right there. Fucking one shot in that thing. Move! Yeah, it might be time. Might be time to get Tome out of that album too. And Tsubasa, it's it's February or all it's it's late January. Christmas is over. We'll get used to the designs. Oh yeah, no, I'm sure. Is that what I thought it was? Yep, heavy fire. Fucking yes. DLC being Abyss Mode as well. Abyss Mode. Not too sure about, not too sure what that means. One of the other two states is playable characters. Oh yeah, fucking uh, Uncle, Tur Uncle Turtle. An Uncle Bird thing. Yeah, it would have been nice. But eh. Alright. Alright. Toma, you look ridiculous. There. There. Now you have your dignity. Kyria, yeah. <laughs> We've humiliated you enough, too, I think, for a while. You can, uh, you can be a dominatrix. I'll put her back in Jotaro eventually, don't worry. Ellie, uh, we didn't get it. We didn't get. I got the Alice one and immediately switched. We didn't get it too big of a chance to see butter legs here, so. Infernal. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's infernal mode. And you, um. Got your little workout outfit. Oh, yeah, I bought this one. I don't know. And it's key. Yeah, granted, none of yours are that interesting besides Joker, but uh, we'll, we'll do Devil Survivor for a while. I like Devil Survivor. It's cool. I like the bunny hood. Called Abyss Mode. Difficulty harder, harder than Madding found at the game's code. Ugh. God, no. Alright, don't mind me. I'm gonna go back here and try to fuck with these switches. Because as you can see, there's a lot more to this puzzle. Granted, I think we're still gonna have slightly more dungeon to do after uh, after we save Ayaha. But nonetheless, if this is the part that I'm thinking of, then there's some extra hidden goodies here that could be a pain in the ass to get. <laughs> If I'm having too hard a time with it, don't worry, I'll just stop and do it off-screen. But I want to at least kind of show y'all what you're dealing with here. Beautiful. Still have Thomas Samurai out. His Walter cosplay is real good. I like it a lot. Oh, SMT4, you, uh, you beautiful, beautiful train wreck, you. Megiddo! You can't Megiddo me! That's illegal. That's actually illegal. Only I'm allowed to Megiddo people. Goddamn lady! Uh, kill this bitch. Oh, 
Toma! Keep the curry coming! Oh, Kyria, nice. Nice endure. For the record, anytime they survive with one HP like that, it says whoever endured the attack. That's just a, uh, a radiant skill you'll be able to pick up by leveling them up. If you're being honest, you want to nuzzle his abs. Sorry, nothing to be sorry about, Phoenix. It's a natural human response. I'll probably put him back in that at some point. I do like that outfit a lot on him. Just a little something to break things up. Variety is the spice of life. Akunda. Yeah, I, 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 replaced, that's, I think I did this off-screen. Yeah, I got rid of uh, Tarukaj or whatever buff skill he had for Dikaja because no one else has it. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be getting Fog Breath eventually. So we don't really need that for now. Itsuki still has that. Naughty. We've been talking about hot dads all, all stream. A couple of streams before this, we talked about Jesus, Judas, and Preg. This ain't nothing. You want to say this is naughty? This ain't nothing. Are we ever going to play Train, <laughs> train Simulator Full Edition? If somebody donates the money for it. <laughs> you want to put the bill on that one, Jux? I don't think you do. Uh... Yeah, as you can see, this is a pain in the ass. Like, it took me forever to completely uh, figure this out and get all the treasures that are around here. I probably won't do all of it, just because I don't think it's physically possible for me to do I mean, I, I'll, I'll be able to figure it out eventually, but, like, uh, like it's not going to be any fun watching me fuck around on stream all day trying to figure this out. I'll try and do a little bit of it, just to show y'all how to deal with it, but, um, give y'all the general idea of how to deal with it. Episode titled Dilf Hunters, I like it, I like it, I like it. Great! That! Dilf! Hmm. I might just take this penalty. Oh, well, not that penalty, shit! Welcome to the lesson plan panel. Planel? Planel. I, your dramatics coach, will teach you the secrets of correct mindset to become a successful actor. And if you can do as I say, get ready for the bit parts for the rest of your life! <laughs> Fuck you! Defeat the antagonist within four rounds. Easy. <laughs> deduce thick thighs. Oh, deduce thick thighs were also a hot topic. And yeah, because we change costumes, we get new animations. It's, it's the same animations, just showing off the, the new costume. Beautiful. Bunny hoodie. Represent. I'm not sure what skill it is of Kyria's that makes her uh, get an automatic... an automatic Tsukukaja on her at the start of battle. I'm guessing it's just a random performer or ability. But. I'm glad she has it! It's helpful. This is clearly a bad team to be dealing with these enemies. At least we got one of them. No! <laughs> it's a bunny hoodie I thought it was a scarf. No. Those are straight up two gigantic bunny ears coming out of the hood. And it's beautiful. Stay drank up. Rider's power. In case you didn't get the reference yet, Lance Slash EX. Just a stronger version, I believe. Mm. Fucking yes. <laughs> Overload. 
Heavy yeah. almighty attack that delays the target's turn by two. How is that... How does that cost less than Megiddo? Oh, it's only one hit, isn't it? Yeah, I can only hit one person. Hmm... At great personal risk, I'm just gonna get rid of Flux. Like, a lot of enemies are weak to it, but it can't session into anything, so it's just not terribly helpful in my experience. Granted, maybe it can now that we have people like Tiki and Maiko jumping in, who have really nondescript session skills that, like, can do go off of any magic. Maybe it could, in theory, count off of those, but I haven't, exp I haven't been keeping a close enough eye on it to check, so... We can always relearn it. Now that we have access to the plus one weapons, we can relearn anything we want at any time. It's not a big deal if we screw up. EP was reduced? That's fucking fine. Doesn't matter, because I still can't get there. But that's fine. We're all fine here, now! But yeah, you, you see the issue here. It would be helpful to at least, like, remember how many, uh, how many different settings there are on this thing. Hate this Minecraft level. Same. Alright, three. I'm thinking three. And don't worry, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna dick around with this too much longer, I promise. I'm just attempting to try and get something going here. Ah! God! They're probably in, they're probably higher level too now, aren't they? It's gonna be a completely different group of enemies now, I think. I could have no idea how to, how to deal with these men. Let's see. If they're new, I'm just gonna spam special skills and hope for the best. Oh no, it's actually, it's the same fuckers. Good god. Okay. Y'all are dumb. Good idea. Good idea. Howdy, Damon Drep. Oh, God. Oh. If I survive, I'm just smoke machining. I don't know what the fuck protected me, but whatever. I'm gonna assume it was someone's ability or some shit. Get me, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Mommy, I don't want to play this game anymore. I've never actually had curry, believe it or not. Is it any good? What's a good comparison? I'm, I'm a pretty picky eater, so I'm always afraid to try out new things. But between just general word of mouth and Persona 5, I'm like, eh, I'll try curry. Hmm. I would at least be willing to try. It's more than I can say about most foods. All right, I was trying to get over. There. I did a good job. No, I did not. <laughs> I, appre I appreciate the words of encouragement, but no, that was almost very bad. Oh, 
All right, let's save now, first of all. Neither of you, but you want to try? Yeah. I was, go I was going about this in the wrong way in the sense that it's stupid to even bother worrying about the, um, the, qu the quiz ones. Like, obviously you should save before you go on it, but I mean, they just, they're, they're very, they're a quick battle. They punish you quick, and then they're over. Just take your medicine. Done. None of these are helpful. Once again, I know I'm, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but trust me, I'm not going to fuck around with this too much longer. HP is reduced, fucking... Let's see, were there any switches up here? There weren't even. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't, this is way over my head right now. Maybe more of it doesn't even open up until I progress further, so I'm just not gonna worry about it for now. Alright, trap ward out of here, we gotta go fucking, uh, save Christmas or something. Peace. Might take a break from dungeon again and do Kyria's side story, her last one. After we beat whatever the hell is uh, coming up next. Knock him dead. Tsubasa has a radiant skill called Knock him dead. Give me that shit. Kiri accepts cuteness, yes. <laughs> She's already accepted cuteness. I forget what her last one is. I remember the second one. I can didn't forget the second I can forget her second side story if I wanted to. <laughs> Absolutely. But, uh, can't quite remember what her third one's like. Let's see. Healing expertise EX, that could be helpful. God, you're uh, you're ready for pretty much everything, aren't you? Actually yeah, I have more of those UFO things than I thought. Still gotta get more off screen at some point, but Let's see. Javelin rain, arrow parry. I like the sound of arrow parry. I like that a lot. And also fucking Agidine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan. I know she doesn't need one yet, but I'm just kind of... It's good to stockpile them if you can. So you don't have to run back and forth in and out of the dungeon quite as much. You also just started on a new one, but I mean, might as well. Ooh, that one looks cool. I like that. It reminds me of uh, Ixion, the, the lightning unicorn in Final Fantasy X. Isn't that, isn't that the horse that Loki fucked or something? Whatever, I'm not gonna think about that. Oh, look at that one. Look at those sheep. Catherine reference. It's probably not a Catherine reference, but whatever. <laughs> kind of wish they uh, they kept their outfits for these uh, these cutscenes too. So I never had to ha had to see fucking uh, pirate Miku ever again. <laughs> Not that big a deal, but I would have appreciated it. I would have appreciated not having to remember that that thing exists.
You like Hexagon? You know what I'm talking about, Phoenix? Yeah. I like that. I like that thing. It's cool. Didn't, uh, he was kind of a one-off summon. Like, the lightning one is typically, it's one that's changed a lot in uh, all the Final Fantasy games. A lot of them say that, a lot of the summons stay the same, but for whatever reason, they just, they keep switching the lightning one. They can't seem to make up their mind. You've got Ramu, you've got Odin, you've got Ixion. Can't seem to sit still on that one. It's okay, apart from Ifrit. Ifrit's cool, and Ifrit's one of the consistent ones. Your Fire Aeon is pretty much always, or er, fi fi Fire Summon. They're not always called Aeons, duh. But, um, your Fire Summon's pretty much always gonna be Ifrit. Same with Shiva for Ice. Aww. You were a baby. なんで写真なんて見つけてるのよ。そ、まさ、ちさ。いつの写真よ。えっと、これはお姉ちゃんがあの事件に巻き込まれるちょっと前に撮ったはず。その写真知ってるわ。いつだったか。綾葉に見せ
and wake her up inside. <laughs> Cheeky, you don't gotta make a fucking event out of it any time, every time. I love you, you small child, but please. We've seen this before, we'll see it again. Eh. Feel my heart! Doki Doki! Literature Club. Oh, fuck. I, I hate that it keeps turning off auto. I mean, it's probably good, because then we... Because otherwise we miss out on, uh, <laughs> on dumb shit like Tiki's arms waving. <laughs> But scenes like this are pretty telegraphed. So I can just leave these on auto. They have a dance fight, and Minato beats him completely. Excellent! God! Show deserves to suffer! With his dumb sequel baiting bullshit that will never get resolved now because we moved on to P5. <laughs> that was so dumb. Good God. I like show just fine, but like you should have just uh, gone ahead and resolved his shit to find why you still could. Because <laughs> we're just gonna throw this out there. Persona 5 Arena will still happen someday. Show ain't coming back. <laughs> like fucking never. <laughs> it's gonna be new people. P5 Arena, you see, you see Yosuke get cuter. Fucking right. I need to see Kamen Rider Yosuke to match uh, Super Sentai Yukari. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh my god. Hangin-san! <laughs> Yosuke would try to grow a beard or mustache and fail spectacularly. He's too much of a basic bitch. Like he'd try it and it just look like really awkward and like half half full. And so he'd give up after a month. Also, Narakami would say he didn't like it. He'd say it itches. And so he'd get rid of it. Gotta respect the boyfriend's wishes. This guy, he's supposed to be an X-Man? What is the show she's on? Do monsters just exist? Oh my god, she figured out how to sneeze! Ah! Oh man! She went ultra instinct! Like I said, Akira Toriyama would sue if he remembered launch existed. Cause holy shit! Uh, no, no, he's just a weird monster, man. I can't get over the little pink cop hat. 
my favorite part of the ensemble. It really it brings the whole package together and ensures that I can take this 100% seriously. You were a little buddy. I'm sorry. What? That was good. Oh, no. You like it. Okay, cool. Yeah! That is acting. Totally. Um. Okay. What? <laughs> then why was she conveniently missing from the office at the exact same time? <laughs> he was voicing P4 Arena that could mean we could finally hear Joker speak if P5 Arena remembers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If they ever actually establish a, a real personality for him, yeah, they can do that at any time. Which might be difficult in P5's case, because from what I hear, the, P, the P5 anime did not have nearly as much fun as the P4 anime had with uh, giving Narakami an identity. Oh, uh, you're both. I don't know who either of you are. I'm totally confused. Oh, you're actually not weak to that. Uh oh. Don't raccoon to me. It's mean. God, no. This is a regular boss fight. No, you get to attack twice too? Fuck you. Fuck you very much, lady. Toma, eat your curry. Thank God. Ow! Oh, fuck you. <laughs> the fucking Mook Mirage gets to attack twice, too. That is such garbage. Oh, Toma. I love you. You truly are best boy. Had a few minutes where he was cute, but his personality was established. Or was it established? Yeah, that's what I heard from people who uh, who did watch the uh, the anime. I didn't even watch it. I couldn't put. I yeah. Just like eh, no English dub. Very very rushed from what I was seeing. Just wasn't terribly interested in it. Yeah, we got experiment. What do you mean to, sir? Not win. You like Zio? I got Zio. Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, yeah. Ma, 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 jikayo. You're weak to this? Oh, let's hamstring him then. Get that accuracy down. Stop doing that! Pinch hitter! Oh, no, 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 no. No, I ain't playing that game with you. It doesn't remember this fucking thing's weakness? Of course it doesn't. Alright. <laughs> Just worried about damage output on this guy. Pretty sure I can one-shot this lady. So fuck it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Focus blade, I'm pretty sure it was focus blade. Yes. Yeah, I can one-shot her. Excellent. No, I can't! Shit! God damn it! Okay, okay. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. He does canonically say Alola when he gets back from Hawaii. Good, good. I'm glad they did that much. Just kill her first. Oh my god! Of course she blocks it. 
I did say right before this, right? Like, it won't be that big of a deal. I have to redo it, but good god. Frustrating. For the record, this is a mid-boss. I was wrong. This is not the final stretch of this dungeon. Like, I thought it could be. Very nice endure. Oh, oh we're, we're dead. We're stuck, in the, we're stuck in the heal loop, yeah. There's no way. Unless she does that twice. Did she just attack three times? What? Oof. Again, y'all see how overleveled I am. Or was. I thought I was still. And I didn't actually get a good look at that guy's level. Please tell me I saved right before this. Some bosses thing, did I? I think I'm back way farther. I didn't save before I went in there. Damn. Always thought of Joker personality being the real one and the Maker personality is a front. Oh, it's oh yeah. No, that's absolutely it. No, he's got Batman syndrome. It's like nah. No, Batman isn't the mask. Bruce Wayne is the mask. Same with Joker. Oh, I didn't know you could skip those. Sweet. God, I think I also bought a bunch of carnages. <laughs> Whatever. Nobody actually needed them, I don't think. We'll worry about it later. Does it looks incredibly bl bloodthirsty as Joker. Yep. No, I will. Uh, I absolutely abide by that. I completely agree. The Joker is the real shit. It's why I think they didn't. It's part of the reason why I think they didn't go far enough with uh, with that other character who I won't get too much into because we're going to play Persona 5 Royal relatively soon. So for anyone watching, I want to try and uh, let them stay in the dark as long as I can. Greta, I've already probably... If anyone's watching all the content on this channel, watching the regular LP of Persona 5, or the LP of regular Persona 5, then they... Uh, Anyone, anyone with a couple of brain cells will be able to figure out the stuff I'm alluding to very easily. Or if you are, obviously, if you just already played the game. But, um. But the whole Joker being his real self and, you know, normal glasses, Ren, Skidly, Kira being the fake one. It's why I say that they needed to amp up and really dig deep into, uh, that other that other character's uh, quote-unquote real self, as it were. Which they seem to be doing with Royal, so hey. I'm anxious to see how far they go with it. If they go even half as far as I want them to, then we're in the money. I, I big, big fan of characters like that, not gonna lie. Like, it's kind of overdone at this point. But, like, the whole idea of, no, the superhero or the mat the masked identity is actually the real one. It's their quote-unquote real life that's a fake. It's that they can only be themselves as a superhero. I love that shit. Funny I say that about Batman, because the fun parts are actually where he plays Bruce. Well, that, that's a different, that's a very different take on the, uh, the mythos, from what I understand, so that makes sense. But typically speaking, in terms of like most of the classic Batman stuff, the animated series, and uh, probably the comics. Not that into the comics, not gonna lie. He, he applies. Batman, Rorschach from Watchmen. I didn't save again, did I? I don't think I did. I'm an idiot. 
Okay, she blocks spears. Not fire, just straight up spears. But she is weak to this. Wait, what are these things fucking levels? 37 and 40. Yeah, you see you see this, right? Like, Itsuki's... Granted, the rest of us are kind of lower level, like, but we're not that far behind them. He should not be fucking us up this much. And yet he is. Here we are. Right. I think we got this one. We, know, we actually know their weaknesses, or at least some of them. We should do this. We should be okay this time. We just can't get stuck in a heat stuck in a healing loop like we did last time, essentially. Like I let everyone get way too low on HP and then uh got caught in a never-ending cycle of reviving people. Telltale with the Batman at this. That's what the Ever Comic has done. Yep, no, I, I appreciate that. Because Batman's been done so many different ways. That, uh, it's, it's good, to, it's smart to spice him up a little. I think he's in pain. Probably would have been smart, smarter, smart, smartest to bring Mamori into this fight, but uh, she's so over leveled that I'm, I mean, not over. Again, clearly we're not over leveled if it's kicking it, wrecking our shit that bad. But um, you know what I mean. <laughs> But yeah, like, it, it, it's smartest to use people who don't have open audition yet, so that the ones who can can jump in and get free hits. But we got it. Thank God, because I don't, I genuinely don't think I saved before this again. Oh, I didn't change the odds out, out of her uh, Santa costume. Gotta fix that. Alright. Boom. Destroyer's impact. That sounds very threatening. Charge. <laughs> God, I really, really wish it would, uh... Like I said, I swear... Unless I'm completely misremembering, there is something eventually that'll let you expand your skill slots, and God damn, do I wish we had it already. But like I said, we have the pl we have the ability to do the, to do the plus one weapons that we can technically go back and get Raccooned at any time. So for now, mm. you know. Mm. For those who don't know, charge is basically uh, it, it, it will double your next physical attack. Use charge one turn, then use uh, fatal uh, fatal end or whatever that strong blade move is. The next turn, it'll fuck about fuck up just about anything, unless it you know repels it or whatever. And I'm pretty and pretty soon I believe we'll be getting its uh, its magical counterpart, Concentrate, for uh, for Kyria. So she is also about to be a house. Speaking of houses, Zondine, put it in me. Yes. Beautiful. Oh God. Um. What? No. Um. Um. Is this what Japan watches? 
I thought they watched like Common Rider. Oh, okay. No, we, we they watched this apparently. <laughs> How'd you do that to your hair? I have seen Japanese game shows. Yeah, I know. That's... <laughs> it's actually not that much of a stretch, I know. Ladies. Okay, now let's see. What happens now? New program has been added. Okay, oh, there actually is a separate one. Okay. Alright, so I may so okay, so maybe it was the one thing. Maybe I did explore everything that is needed to be explored, but no, that, that can't be. There were some walls still. I don't know. I don't know quite what's happening with there. I I'll probably, like I said, you all get the basic idea. It's really hard to figure out. There were no guides for that thing back when I did it, so it took forever. I do not remember how to do it. But um, y you get the general idea of the puzzle. Hopefully with this game being on a, on a uh, more popular console now, some some good walkthroughs will exist that can explain it better than I can. If I happen to find out in between uh, streams and it's still in this area, maybe I'll pop back in and uh, show it off a little. But let's see. I don't even know where I'm going. I actually don't even know what I'm... I don't even know where I need to go in. Die. 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 Everybody die. Remember that time Piglet's voice actor played a serial killer on Star Trek? And he literally just sounded like Pidlek? Pidlek? Mr. Mitsu Pidlek. Piglet. That was pretty good. Turns out the Piglet voice is apparently just his natural voice. He freaked out. Let's see, uh, you don't have a new one? I did get any new ones ready in advance. Nor do you! Well, you've got, he's got this one. But like I said, I was kind of holding off because he doesn't have the room to learn that, uh, that wind slash, that new session skill. And I'd rather not have to completely redo it just because the game's holding off so, waiting so long to give me more space for moves. <laughs> Do not remember it taking this long! I also just realized she still only has regular Agi. I don't know if she even can get an upgraded Agi. If not, she can have that much longer. We're about to drop that ship for, uh, for Concentrate, like I said. One shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. This opportunity came once in a lifetime. Boom. 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 Watch Increases experience while in subcast. Uh, fucking yeah, yeah. I want that. That sooner. This is critical rate. I don't know how good that is actually. Null charm. We have yet to encounter any hmm. enemies using charm. So sure. Hmm. I've used charm on people because her uh, her ad lib skill can inflict it. But in terms of other people hitting me with it, nah, nah, we ain't had any of that. <laughs> All right, let me actually look at the monitors this time. Season finale, dead center bottom. Okay. 
Oh, cool. It'll be like literally the first one then. No running around this time. Nice. Very nice. How convenient. Alright. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, no, oh, this okay, yeah, no, it, it is. It's all the same thing. It's just I had to wait till a different en entrance. Okay. Yeah, this is where this puzzle gets complicated. Okay, so yeah, congratulations. You will get to see me fucking around with this a little. Yeah. Alright, and this time he's going into door number two. Good to know. I was like, there's no way there were two rooms this obnoxious. Like, yeah, it's all the same one. Just had to wait for a, uh, a new access point to be able to actually get to these fucking switches. Alright. Before we start fucking with that, we need to mentally prep and also use the bathroom again because I'm drinking too much coffee. Be right back. Maybe you do this stuff with Bruce's parents. Oh, I missed that one. Shit. Sorry, the best. I think I'll enjoy Batman, but I definitely won't like the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. But hey. Alright, this is the one that I could just straight up not get to. That one's a dead end. Yeah, what, what I said still stands. Um, like, I'm not gonna fuck around trying to get every single item in this puzzle. I'm just gonna worry about getting the exit. But, like, you, you, you already probably understand what I'm getting at when I talk about how obnoxious this one can be. And let's see. Yeah, we gotta get, uh. Get Subasa back in here for a bit, I think. Everyone else doesn't really matter. So weird seeing Ellie and uh, Mamori so much higher level. But just those stage ranks still being uh, pitiful. Any new enemies in this area? I'll try and feel things out. Nope, it's the same old guys, just non savage versions. Which probably means we have new, uh, new savage enemies that'll pop up eventually if we run into one. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Alright, let's test out Zondine. Let's see how much we get out of one hit. <laughs> Boom! So about, ha about half its health. Which is fair. Tsubasa is pretty balanced right now. That's actually, that's probably why, that's part of why uh, that strong sword attack on Krom is fucking things up so much. Is because I picked Conqueror. Conqueror is for his Master Steel, the one that he's working on right now. Conqueror is a lot more physical based. 
so he's kind of just getting an obscene amount of extra damage from that. Once we change to Great Lord eventually, after we've maxed out all the carnages associated with it, it's probably not going to be quite as broken. But right now with that, he is a house. It's a brick for the farmer house. He's must and must and just let it all hang out. Alright, so this is the one we could not even get to before. Let's try it. That basically blocks us in. Toma back on. Granted, as I've, as I've demonstrated, it's not that big a deal if you land on him. You just either have to fight a random battle or deal with, um, or deal with, uh, getting your HP or something cut in half. Not that big a deal, all things considered. We've actually been this way before. No, we haven't been up here, though. Okay, excellent, excellent. Making progress. <laughs> Starting to figure it out. What do you want? You want me to beat people up for you? Gameplay, if I ever play Observer, I might need to put an epilepsy warning. Really? That bad? Damn. Okay. I never get why they make me talk to these girls twice. It's like, come on. I get it. Be nice. I probably already have all the shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I've killed a lot of people, lady. That's the one we need to get to, right? That's... Is that through number two? No, 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 it's over there, actually. Interesting. Alright, well, let's just get it over with. Alright. Ping pong, ping pong. Four rounds? No problem, lady. You have any idea with whom you are fucking? You don't want any of what I am right now. Back chorus. Ah! It's key as many things. And Aiduru is not one of them. Sessions. Special conditions. Some rated skills give weapons a special effect, enabling the skill to trigger a session when it's used on an enemy with a certain status ailment. Really? Don't remember this at all. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. If it happens, it happens. You use digital feature technology back at memories of the unwell. Good news, if you have a graphical fix, you probably won't notice. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Practice. Increases mastery earned in combat. Uh, tempting, but I mean, we're going along at a pretty good pace in the fact that the, uh, the DLC, formerly DLC dungeon exists, where you can basically very easily level up any, uh, any carnages. I don't really need it. Granted, I, I still have magic boost. It's actually probably better than that, but, man, eh, whatever. Not that big a deal. Oh god. Well, four rounds. Yep, no, no problem. I'm not sure if it's possible to complete this puzzle or, you know, even partially complete it. You know, by uh, getting all the. Uh... I definitely don't know about getting. Either way, I don't know if it's possible to complete this without stepping on the, uh, the question mark tabs. It, it probably is. That's like a. It's like they're not that tough encounters as long as you keep keeping decent pace with the levels. And the consequences if they're not battles aren't that bad either, so it's like, yeah. 
Might as well do it. I also should, probably should have gone ahead and gotten new Carnage for everyone, because I think... I, think well, I don't think we... Most of you don't even have backups, right? Yeah, I think you were done. You were done. You're still working. You're done. You're, you're done, really. Yeah. Right. You're fine. Okay. Yeah, quite a few people need new ones, but I'm not gonna... I wanna... I wanna get to the stopping point. I just wanna, I just wanna get out of here. Does it say the light tell we're off already, or...? Alright, two. But yeah, if I can just peek Dak down here. Dak down here? Dak bound here. I even looking at the right thing. Good to know. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of other chests on the side. You have to figure out all these different combinations to uh, to get to. I'm not sure if that'll let me get to it or not. Maybe. Depends on how much these uh, these look around. But yeah, you see that one back there. That's all thing. Actually, can we get to that one now? If we don't get. Yeah, actually, we might be able to get that one. Cool. Let's try it. I have to fight a quiz battle or something, but whatever. Hi. People, people. Okay. Oh, no. That's like $5. Master Seal. Very nice. We can upgrade someone else. Excellent. Around. Can we get there that way? I think this was, this was red too, wasn't it? Oh no, no, we got it. Okay, I think we actually. No, not quite. Actually. Can we get up here? Gotta get that last one to open up. Like I said, there are probably much more efficient ways of doing this. I'm just stupid. <laughs> oh my god, he vaporized her! <laughs> oh my god, boy, stop! You're using up all your... <laughs> You're using up all your good luck for the boss fight. Which, spoiler alert, this next boss is a bitch. I mean, a bitch. How big of a bitch is he? In his Source Fire Emblem game, he was voiced by Spike Spencer, aka Shinji Ikari. That's how big a bitch this guy is. I'm kidding for the record chat. In this house, we love. In this in this chat, we love and respect Shinji Ikari. But the consensus is that he is something of a bitch. And so I'm making the appropriate joke. Until Dom has a lot of quick time events, they can mean life and death at times. Be careful with that. Oh, good! Hi. Ah! Full rounds? Fine. Fuck it. Bring it on. I ain't afraid of you. Yeah, this is a very, very bad team, apparently. Good people to hit witnesses. Vaporize her! 
They'll be very unforgiving. Uh, don't tell me that. Yeah, don't need to be telling me stuff like that if you still want me to actually play that game at some point. At some point, probably being, uh, what do we, we talk about that, doing that for Halloween month, right? Just do nothing but horror games for, uh, for December. Or, December's Halloween month, right? I mean, if you're Subasa, yeah. Every month is... <laughs> October. That could be part of Halloween month. I like that idea. Start some of the... Start Resident Evil if I haven't already by that point. Silent Hill. Something. If you fail, doesn't mean game over. You still have seven characters left. But I, it, assuming I don't hate them, I'd like to save everyone. Golden ending and all that. Fucking fine. I literally don't care. Fine. Take my money. That's fine. I, I I have no fucks to give. I am fresh out of fucks. This is the end. Thank God. Okay. Okay. We got the teleporter activated, so we're good. This is the actual exit. This is the actual progression. So not too bad if all you're looking to is... If all you're looking to do is get to the end. Not too bad. Negative status effects, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. I'll hate them at the start. It's supposed to be cliche at the start, really. Cool. What does Itsuki have? Seal? Why is this menu taking so long? Game? <laughs> that low-key scared the shit out of me. I was like, did this game freeze? Well, now you're doing me a frighten. They go through the game for the better. Or worse? Uh-oh. So I might want some of them to die. I'm not gonna judge anyone prematurely. Like, I'm not gonna want someone to die based on the first couple of minutes of gameplay, unless they're just absolutely awful. But, um... Like, early on, I'm not gonna be looking to kill people just to kill people. Y'all know my thoughts on that. Good god. That's a, that's a good scare noise. Appropriate. Oh god, that's right, he's gonna block shit. Should've used Javelin Ray. Well, granted, that wouldn't have been any better. He's not weak to it, but... Alright, you go away. Very nice, Toma! That's what I like to see. You beautiful man, you. Oh, here's one of them. I solved some extra parts accidentally. Again, that solved an air quotes. Like I said, for all I know, there's a really easy, really obvious way to do this entire puzzle without getting lost 50 times, without having to, uh, to go on the other uh, quiz tiles. But I'm actually stupid. So... It's above me. Too much for my pre for my uh, fragile pea brain. Okay, I see that. I'm missing one still. But uh, I'll, I'll say I'll save that for I'll save that for off screen. I won't make y'all suffer through that. Funnily enough, isn't a douche at first unless you make an effort to play him that way. But he can be a piece of shit if you make him really. Or your favorite character, okay. Yeah, that, that's cool. It's cool that there's that much variation. Like, I'm certainly interested in it. Like I said, I, I, I've talked about him many times, so I apologize for uh, people who are here for every stream or have heard it multiple times, but I, wa I, I, I am subscribed to a, a gentleman by the name of Phalus who reviews movies and occasionally... He, he reviews video games but mostly only for, like, franchises he's a big fan of, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Anytime those would get a new... uh. 
a new game in the series, he would talk about them. Very rarely does he branch out from that in terms of video games. He mostly sticks to movies. But uh, he, but he did a review for uh, for Until Dawn, which I mean, I'm sure that means something. He clearly had he clearly had a lot of thoughts on it, one way or the other, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I said I'm not gonna do this. I lied. I'm gonna I'm because I think that's the only one I still have. It seems pretty straightforward. I just need to change this one and then maybe go in from a different way. Like I have all the other ones, I think. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna try and get that one. Then. Just that one. That's on the. Oh no! I won't lie, but I mostly gonna go ahead and get that that last chest just because I uh, I, I honestly. Don't... I don't feel like doing the boss of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't feel like doing doing the boss of this place. I remember him being really annoying. I want to pace myself. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, hopefully get that last chest without too much trouble. And then probably just call this another short stream. Get all those carnages that I uh, that I lost by not saving before that boss fight. Get all those again, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Do do Kiri and possibly Subasa side stories, depending on how uh, what level I am by then. And then we will kill this man. Because I want to kill this man. Make no mistakes. It's just I fear this man. I remember. I vaguely remember the gimmick behind this fight, and it scares me. Okay, well, Toma, you're gonna lose out on some experience, buddy. Sorry, that's just that's just the way that we're okay. We're out of curry. We're not out of curry. I just don't feel like it. Itsuki's the only one who can actually get a super effective hit on her, and I and he keeps going first, so I don't feel like playing the healing cycle. Wait, you get lucky in for her to not kill him or not or miss or something. Nah, nah, I don't play that game. I play this game. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Sharp. F.E. Encore. For the Nintendo Switch. Sorry, you're late. You had a doctor's appointment. Had to go on late vaccine. It heals for someone my age, but your family's persisted. Hey, no worries, Akira. Not offended. Well, oh, let's see. Where, where the fuck is it? I was trying to just backtrack to make sure I remembered exactly where it was. Okay, it's the far... Right, 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 right in front of me. Right in front of me. Chromu, shut up! And no one near me. I got this. No, I said I got this. All right, that one. Just need to get that chest. Let's see. Eh? Oh, perfect! Beautiful! That's what I like to see! If we can actually get there, I'd be blocked off by something else, or some something stupid could happen, but... Let's just try it. Very roundabout way of getting there, too, but... No! I have no quarrel with you! If that was all it took, then I apologize. I, I apparently greatly over-exaggerated how difficult this place is. Because, yeah, I think this is the last one. And it's a balm of life. That is totally not worth it if you have as much trouble with this as I did. I think, I want to say the Master Seal was the one that I just had a hell of a time getting when I did this the first time. And I think, that, I think, in hindsight, I think a big issue of why I had so much trouble with this, and why I probably hyped it up more than it needed to be, apparently is, um, just the fact that, like I said, when I first played this game, keep in mind, this game sold three copies. <laughs> this game did not sell well, not a lot of people were playing it, even fewer people were writing guides or giving out information on it. So when, when, I, when this puzzle went over my head, and I didn't find any help online whatsoever, I got frustrated. <laughs> But apparently it's fine now. <laughs> 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 
My hobby you're doing? Yeah, that sounds fun. That actually sounds interesting. Neat. I'm not here before? I've been in this room before. Oh, oh, it takes me back here. Okay. Well, that's fine. I, I got I'd freak out, but I activated the teleporter. Alright, so we should be in good shape. Let's see. Anything else new open up? No, just carnages and everything. Hey! Just trap board. Alright, so yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm sorry I over exaggerated how difficult that puzzle was. I'm glad I got to show it all on stream. So at least uh, people will know what to do now if they do get stuck like me. Because I wouldn't wish the hell I went through with, uh, with the, on anyone. But like I said, I don't have I don't have it in me to deal with uh, with the boss man tonight. I just don't. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Akira, considering you just got here. But um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call another short one. I hate that we did. I warned y'all at the top that we weren't gonna make a lot of progress since I didn't do the off-screen stuff I wanted to do. <laughs> I will this time. I promise. I'm going to um, I'm going to grind to finish getting more uh, more of those UFO items. Probably more of the original the uh, the original ones that were weak to arrow back in the uh, the first dungeon. Probably farm those a little too since I can do the plus one weapons now for everyone. But yeah, do that. Get new carnage for everyone. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to try not to get over level. I'm not going to deliberately grind at all. Already night for me, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so, Akira. I could keep going. Technically, I just, like I said, I'm being honest. I really just don't want to fight that boss. <laughs> I'm gonna, but I don't, I don't have it in me tonight. I don't want to deal with him right now. <laughs> You'll, you will all see why tomorrow. Uh. Yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, sorry, sorry for anyone who just showed up. But yeah, I think I'm good. But no, we, we will get him. I think I, I said something about doing Subasa and Curious side stories before the boss even, but no, it's, that's just it, it's just that's just stupid at that point because we're already gonna be kind of over leveled. No side quests, not right now. Like I think the plan is just gonna be to go in full ham tomorrow and uh, and deal with the boss man, and then I'll do the side stories. I'll do this. I'll do the side quests off screen. Yeah, not, not 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 the side stories with the characters. Those are too important. I'll save all I, I will save all the stuff with these guys, but I will do all the uh, the busy work, fetch questy stuff, and like I said, just get my new carnages and everything leveled up. Hopefully, maybe work on uh, Ellie and uh, Mamori's uh, sk skill rank, Wh whatever the separate rank is <laughs> that unlocks new performa and side stories for them. Work on that a little bit without getting them any more over leveled than we already are. But yeah, sorry to have another short one. <laughs> these were going. We went from like seven hour ones to less than four hour long streams, but uh, like, like I said, I'm tired. I didn't get near, I didn't get any of the shit done that I wanted to off screen, so that's my own my own fault. We'll rectify it this time. We're good. All right. We'll take this man down tomorrow. Y'all see what all the fuss is about. Hopefully, I'm not exaggerating this time like I was for that fucking puzzle. But thank you all. Special thanks to Flashplex. If you want to help out, check out the Patreon. I love you guys. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>